and hopefully this is going to work. Thank you very much for joining me. My name is Paul Grogan. Tonight we're going to be doing a three player playthrough of Plunderous. Uh, if you can hear me and see me okay, and the sound is okay because I've been having audio issues recently, please let me know in the chat if everything is fine. Uh, tonight the chat is not on the screen, but I've got my other computer with me so I can actually see the chat. Um, so yeah, we're going to be playing the game tonight using Tabletopia. Um, not just because of the global crisis COVID situation, um, it's because the people I'm playing with are actually over in America. Um, and it's probably cheaper to play the game over, over the internet than it is to fly me all the way to America uh, and play the game in person and then fly me back. So yes, we're playing the game tonight using the Tabletopia interface. Uh, we're gonna be playing for, this is gonna be a three hour video. We're not gonna get the game done in three hours. Uh, now don't let that put you off if you think this is gonna be a super long game. I've been told that once you know how to play the game, this is one hour per player. Uh, there might be an audio delay, says Mark, but audio is good. Okay, um, yeah, I've been told that the play time is about one hour per player, but obviously we're going to be, well, I'm going to be learning the game tonight and we're going to be playing over the Tabletopia interface. So we're not going to get a full game done, but we're going to get probably about two and a half hours of the game done and you'll hopefully get a good idea uh, of how the game plays. So without any further ado, I am now going to switch over to Discord which is, bear with us a minute, let me just close that down and close that down so we don't get any unnecessary pings. Um, right, I am on Discord and I'm going to say hello to Andrew. Hey Paul. How are you doing sir? Good, I'm doing good, how are you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. So you are the designer of this game. Yeah. How long have you been designing this game? Now I know the answer to that question. <laughs> <laughs> It's been over five years. Yeah. It's been a long, long time. A long time. And how different is the game now compared to what it was five years ago? Well, it, it has evolved considerably. Uh, the biggest change occurred, as we discussed earlier, when uh, about two and a half years ago, uh, January 2018, mm -hmm. you uh, you did a, a play test yeah. with a group of people. <laughs> and, uh, and I watched you guys play over Skype. Yep. And that had a had a great effect on the design of the game because back then it was there were there were engine building euro elements but it was more of a war game but you guys were playing the game and you didn't want to play it as a war game yeah. and i realized that there was no need to play it just as a war game and that you should be able to gain as many points exploring and expanding yeah. as uh, as the other ways so that was the big moment of change in the, in the design of this game yeah and uh it, and this is what we have now yeah. because of it. So yeah, two, two and a half years ago, well, probably close to three years ago, Andrew approached me because yeah. um, one of the services that I offer to the industry is playtesting of games with various, you know, playtest groups uh, and also playtesting rulebooks to see how clear the rulebooks are. So Andrew sent me a copy of the game. And yeah, January 2018, I hosted a games weekend at my house where we basically playtested games for the whole weekend. Richard Breeze was here. David Turtsy was here. Uh, and they both played this game and we were sat at the dining room table downstairs with a with a camera on the game with Andrew on the Skype call watching us play um, which if you are a, a game designer um, I, I strongly recommend doing something like that rather than sending somebody yeah, your game. Yeah it was a lot of fun. Yeah well I mean the other option is that you send somebody your game and then you sit there and then you you get an email with all of the feedback and I think well no let's do the Skype call so you can actually hear the feedback this is rubbish or this bit's really good uh, you get it you get it live and live and direct so but also how richard never wanted to attack anybody that was a, yeah. a defining moment in the design of this game <laughs> that i wouldn't have seen had i not been watching yeah yeah there we go um so since then obviously you've been working on the game it is now on the kickstarter so uh, the, the purpose of this video yes. is obviously to help promote the game um from my point of view my aim is to show you what this game is about to see whether it's the kind of game that you like um, and if it is the kind of game you like go and check it out on kickstarter uh, the kickstarter started when did it start a few days ago it started on this past tuesday yeah. right okay um and yeah we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna start playing now you're gonna keep an eye on the time aren't you andrew yes good Right, because <laughs> I know me, when I, get, when I get into something, I'll get carried away. And before I know it, it'll be midnight. Um, now, you're not going to be teaching me how to play the game tonight. We have enlisted. No, 
Shay. No, nope, that'll be Shay Parker's responsibility. Mr. Shay Parker, how are you doing? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Now, you, you've played this game a few times, haven't you? I have, yeah. I, I played the game the first time uh, maybe four or five months ago. Okay. Um, played it a few times since then, and it's changed a little bit uh, since I've played it. But I've uh, kept my... Or, I mean, as I've been playing it, um, had a few... Uh, a few bit of design inputs right. myself on this, and so uh, excited to, to show it off. Good. So just tell people a little bit about who you are, because you've got your own YouTube channel, haven't you? Yes, I do. We are friendly competitors. Uh, I have a, a, a channel called RTFM, where I also teach uh, board games. Um, and I do a couple of videos that uh, help uh, people teach games themselves. Yep. Um, a little bit of a how to teach series. And then I also uh, do uh, run throughs over on Rado's channel, which is how I met Andrew. Yeah. Because he is uh, involved in that as well. Yeah. Uh, cool. Right. So the way that tonight is going to go is I don't really know how to play this game. I mean, yes, I did play it two and a half years ago, but <laughs> I, I can't remember that much. Um, we're not going to be doing a full rules overhead at the start. This is quite a meaty game. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of choices in this game. But what we're going to be doing is we're going to start playing as soon as possible. And I'm just going to throw myself into it. The decisions that I make in the game are not going to be well thought out because I don't really know what I'm doing. But certainly for the first hour of this video, every time we do something in the game, Shay's going to explain how that particular part of the game works. So the first part of this video is going to run quite slowly because we're going to be explaining the rules as we go. But after that, hopefully uh, it will speed up. Right. Do you want to just give you us definitely a... Get the, you definitely get a sense of it as you're playing. Yeah. Um, so it'll be it'll be pretty easy to, to jump in. Yeah. So do you want to give us a, a quick high level overview of, of what this game is about from a grand scale? Absolutely. Uh, like you said, that it is a uh, it is a meaty game. There are a lot of choices, but the game, uh, from an overview sense, is fairly simple. Uh, we're going to play up to six rounds, and I should say we are um, we are sort of like pirate lords. Mm -hmm. Each of us has claimed a port on uh, these islands in the Caribbean. Uh, for example, I'm here on Port Josephine, um, whereas you're starting on San Antigua, and yep. we've got uh, Port Florence there. So these are the ones we start with, but there are a few open islands as well as Governor's Island. And we also start with some loyalists. Uh, each of us starts with 500,000 loyalists, and the goal is to get to 1.5 million. Um, once we do that and get to Governor's Island, that player wins the game. Okay. Or if we go uh, through six rounds and no one has gotten to 1.5, then it's whoever has the most loyalists at right. the end. Um, now, the game is played over uh, uh, through three different phases. There's the command phase, the conquer phase, and the muster phase. Um, during the command phase, we've got a, a hand of crew cards, and uh, we basically are just going to play a card, and there are a, a number of different actions that we can do with that, but um, we'll go through those as we're playing. And... A lot of the time, you're going to be playing the card for the effect that is listed on the card. Mm -hmm. So you start with with four. You've got uh, two deckhands, a bosun, and a gunner. Um, and they have a bunch of different effects. Yeah. Um, but you can also discard them for... Or you can exhaust them for a bunch of other uh, a bunch of other things that you can do, which are all shown on the command phase card. Okay. So multi-use um, cards. Oh, I'm sorry. Say that again? Uh, multi-use cards, then. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So, during the command phase, each of us will take turns playing a card, doing a thing, and then uh, when we can't or don't want to do anything else, we'll pass. Once everyone's passed, we're going to move on to the conquer phase. Mm -hmm. And the command phase and the conquer phase use a reversing turn order. So it'll start since I'm, uh, we've got these turn order cards. I'm the cleric, uh, you're the queen, and Andrew's the king. These are our patrons. Um, that means that I'm going first, uh, and then the king is going last. But then when we move to the conquer phase, king's going to go first to the cleric is going to be last. Right. And that is shown on the top of the card here. Yeah. And here is where we're going to be doing actions on the map. We're going to be moving our ships around, conquering other ports, exploring islands, uh, maybe trading for resources, and uh, potentially fighting each other. Uh, we don't have to fight. We also don't necessarily have to exploit mm -hmm. resources if we don't want to. It's a pretty open-ended uh, experience. Um, but we're going to be doing actions uh, and moving around and as soon as, uh, you know, like with the command phase, as soon as each of us has passed, we're going to move on to the muster phase. Right. In the, in the muster phase, we will take control of all of the ports we conquered, um, as well as doing a lot of, like, admin. It's a lot of, like, a refresh phase kind of thing. Okay. Um, 
So, uh, and then we will get back all of the, or not all of the crew, but at least some of the crew that we have uh, exhausted throughout the other two phases. Um, so you start with four crew. You will probably get, you'll definitely get more as the game goes on. Yeah, from the, um, uh, from the, the tavern game, over can, here. Exactly. Yep. Uh, but at the beginning of the game, you can only refresh three crew um, per turn. And that's shown in your player board. There's this little uh, green cube at the bottom of a, a track of numbers. Yep. And you can improve this as the game goes on. But at the beginning of the game, you can only refresh three crew. Right. Um, and so you'll, you'll probably want to improve that as we go so you can uh, refresh more crew and do more actions okay. uh, during the command phase. Um, so that's a pretty yep. broad overview. Oh, the last big thing uh, is that during the muster phase, we will have a council meeting. Um, if you look at the privateer's code here, you see uh, there are three laws on the top and three laws on the bottom. These three laws start off in play. So right. tavern maximum capacity is, is four. Uh, if you look at the tavern, you can see there are actually room for eight cards uh, to be put out. Um, yep. For... On the seats. Well, the way it's yep. designed, it's, it's a lot more. But we, because uh, I think you can play an advanced mode where you have uh, up to 12. But we're just going to go four to eight. And, uh, but for right now, the tavern's maximum capacity is four. So if we want to strike that law down and replace it with the ban on in play crew, which is directly beneath it, we will be voting on that uh, during the council phase. Um, same with the ban on mechs and ban on broadsiding. So at the beginning of the game, we're going to be a little bit more peaceful. But if we ever want to get a little bit more combative, then we need to strike down these laws. As soon as we have a council phase, we'll be voting of uh, 90 seconds to put votes on uh, whichever law we want to uh, pass, and they're paired from top to bottom. So one, uh, the top will be replaced by the bottom if the bottom gets, uh, gets going. And we'll talk more about that once the uh, council phase comes up. Right, cool. So, do you feel uh, do you feel like you want to jump in? I'm ready. I, I think that was a uh, that was a pretty good overview. The yeah. one other thing we should mention is what's what's on the board here that we've already oh, taken the ports for sure. And there are port defenses on each one, and there's a port trade and a port resource that each port initially produces. And when the other ports are conquered and owned or explored, then other things will become available here. So when you explore it, you'll see the port trade, and whoever conquers it would then get. Uh, to flip over what resource that port produces. Yes, and I indeed. think uh, I think we can start start playing. Yeah. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your player board and you see the three dice that you have. So just roll those. Um, and these are going to give you things during the uh, during the conquer phase, um, but you might be able to adjust them a little bit during the command phase. Um, for example, uh, since I'm going to go first, I have I've rolled two steam and a rum. Now I don't feel like I need this much steam right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play uh, my deck hand. So I've got this uh, base guild deck hand. If you look at the top left, uh, there are guilds to each card, and those kind of determine how strong they are. Uh, this base guild is is the lowest. But this is still going to be pretty useful to me because I have a few options here. Um, and the one that I'm looking at is re-roll uh, any on-deck die. And so these are my three dice. I don't necessarily want two steam, so I'm going to take one of these and re-roll it. And hopefully that is going to get me something a little bit better. Cool, I got another rum. Uh, so that's going to help me out. But that's, that's my turn. So I have played that card and I'm going to pass the turn to you. So your turn was play the card and then in the case of the deck hand, it has three options on it and you chose the bottom one. Yes. And then that card is exhausted. And you said earlier on that you don't get all of your exhausted crew cards back. You only get... Uh, exactly. I get the amount that's shown here. Right. So I, I can bring. I can get three back. So if I only play three, I will be able to get all three of them back. Right. Um, but if I you know, get more crew or if I... Uh, um, yeah, if I get more crew, then I won't be able to you know, get all of them. Okay. So... Okay, so let's have a look at my dice then. I've got two steam, and I've also got this cross swords dice. What's that going to allow me to do? I can guess, but... <laughs> yeah. so, so what steam... you could do with that sure. is um, you can use the steam to exploit during the conquer phase. Uh -huh. You could use the uh, 
cutlass to take down uh, one of the defenses on the port next to you there, or this port over here, or, or my port, or Shay's port. Okay. Um, but there are also other things you can do on that you can see on the command chart uh, where you could store, you could use a crew member, not for its action, but you can use it to store, uh, a su store the supply and the cargo so you could save that cutlass for later. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use a crew card to recruit new crew, which on the card it has a copper value that it produces. Yep. Each of them do, like your gunner produces, it's the... The copper value it produces is the one next to the action box yep. in the bottom left corner. Yep. So like the gunner produces three, and you could use that, that to uh, hire more crew. Okay. And you would always uh, subsidize, uh, you can, I'm sorry, supplement that with uh, island resources. And actually, that's a good point. We were supposed to each take an island, one island resource uh, that our port produces. And so my port produces, what does that say, sugar. So I would put one sugar in my cargo hold. Uh, yours also does sugar, sugar also as well. put one there. So it goes there. And you can see at the top here, uh, there's a market rate card. And if you sell oh, uh, nice. sugar, uh, you would get a one copper for it. If you wanted to buy sugar, you'd have to pay two. So okay. the rates change, fluctuate each round. So if you were to use that gunner for three and then use that sugar, you could buy something for up to four. You never get change when you purchase something. Right. Okay. Uh, you could... Also, some of the cards have higher level actions on them that you need uh, structures built to be able to control. So yeah. to do those actions. So you'll see on some of the cards, there is a little distillery. Uh, on some of them, there is uh, an armory. Yeah. And if you have an armory, you can do both distillery and armory actions. But if you have a distillery, you can only do distillery okay. actions. So... One of the things to start out would be to uh, try and build up a distillery on one of your ports so you can have access to those higher level cards. Mm -hmm. So how do I go about doing that then? Uh, well, over on this map legend, you have a, uh, you can see what it costs to build a distillery and armory. Right. And so to build a distillery, you need to spend four copper, which is exhausting one of your crew cards, your four copper. Uh, any two island resources, that's, that symbol there on the card is for any two, or for any type of island yep. resource. And then one steam, one steam. would get you a, a distillery. Now, yeah. I only have one island resource at the moment. Right. So you could also purchase an island resource. That's one of the actions in the command phase. Mm -hmm. You could exhaust a crew card, and you could see you could purchase an island resource, or you can recharge your steam at your port or Governor's Island, or any port you have... Uh, you have permission to. So if, you're, if your ship is at somebody else's port and you need to purchase something or recharge, you basically have to ask them permission to dock to do those okay. things. Okay. But when you, well, we'll get to- Now you're saying that moving are. my ship, that doesn't happen in this phase, that's in the next phase. Right, moving your ship only happens in the conquer phase. Right, okay. So um, yeah, as you say, there's a, there's a whole host of choices. Let's go with the recruiting an extra crew. Oh, I'm just going to look at my request because we've each been given uh, two secret objectives, effectively, which are these uh, right. request cards. So I'm just going to have a read of mine because that might influence what I'm trying to do. Okay. okay, I think I get that one. And I think I get that one as well. So what I'm going to do is I am going to recruit... Uh, this gunner here. So am I right in thinking that that costs three to buy? Yes. The, uh, one, uh, yes. The cost is in the top, and I can't click on it. The, cost is the, in top, the top right, right corner is the recruiting cost. Yeah. Yes. So if I play this gunner from my hand, this has got a three coin on the left-hand side. Yes. So that generates three money, which I then use to buy this gunner. Right. Okay. And where does yeah. this new gunner go? Uh, he goes in the exhausted pile. Whenever you recruit someone, they go in the exhausted pile unless it says, but I think you took both. I think I did. There. I, I think, think I was cheating. Back. There you go. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, and the other thing you should sneaky, know is that sneaky. you have a crew limit of six crew cards in your hand to start. If you purchase a quartermaster, which is on the table, and maybe that'll affect what you just did, you might want to go back. No, that's okay. Then if you play the quartermaster, one of the quartermaster's actions is to give you a quartermaster marker that goes on your board, and if you play that, you get the marker, and you have access to your secret cargo hold, 
and you also can have a crew limit of nine as long as the marker is right good. so that's six is that six cards in hand and exhausted that's no that is six hands six in your hand total there are cards that'll be in play on the table there'll be exhausted crew and there's on deck crew in your hand so all total you can have six crew six crew. if you have a quartermaster you can have nine crew total right and so far i've got five yes yeah now you have five. okay i'm good with that okay all right so for my uh first action i am going to play my deck hand and I'm going to add a random port resource, second port resource to my port. Let me move my ship out of the way there, and I'll randomly draw a port resource token. And I got more sugar, got so more my sugar. port is producing two sugar. So that means this island produces two sugar instead of one. Right. Go. Gotcha. Okay. That seems good. Okay, it's back to Shay. Mm-hmm. So I want to build a distillery. That's sort of my, my short-term goal. Um, you know, I only have the one, uh, the one resource, so I'm going to um, exhaust my gunner for the three copper, and I will go to the market rate, and I need to buy uh, a resource. Now, the spice and the sugar each cost two, oak costs three, um, so, you know, I can buy one of any of these, but the excess uh, doesn't carry over that's right. that's lost at the end of the transaction okay so i uh which is not that big of a deal i'm just gonna grab one of these i'll grab an, an oak why not just to be uh, to get to use all of my money um not that it matters particularly because i'm gonna be spending them on the distillery but that was my quick action um so that is me being being done okay um so you're right so how do i increase this cube how does this go up so there are a number of things uh, that will fill up this track, and you'll actually be putting more cubes on the track. Um, if you look over at the uh, Privateer's Code board, mm -hmm. um, you'll see in the top right there are milestones. Yeah. So during the muster phase, if any of us, or if one of us, has uh, performed one of these milestones, then we will get to take the corresponding cube. Right, okay. And this can go in a couple of places. You can put it on uh, that track, like we were talking about, yep. on your player board. You can also put it on the quartermaster spot, which, like we talked about, uh, increases your uh, crew limit from six to nine. Okay. It also gives you this secret cargo hold, which gives you four more spaces to put, uh, you know, little tiles. Yep. Um, or you can put it on the navigator, and when you have it on the navigator, that means your ship can move a little bit faster. Okay. Okay, I'm... so that's a, actually a good point. The uh, steam allows you to move your ship or a mech if you had one, one space, one hex. But if you have a navigator in play there, if you have that marked, you can move two spaces per steam. Right. So you're saying so that I, the... you're saying I don't no. get any change because I quite fancy buying the quartermaster, but the quartermaster costs two, and I have right. cards that generate four gold. Can I not buy two crew? Oh, you, you could buy two crew if you if you supplement your ink, the well, money spent I, with uh, island resources. I mean, resources. I've, I've got a card that generates um, it generates four. Uh, um, correct me if I'm wrong, Andrew. Though, uh, if you were to buy, you know, two more crew, uh, wouldn't Paul have? Oh then yeah, Paul, you would. You will be over seven. your limit then. You would. You oh, would have seven. You yeah, only so, have up to six. You would have to discard one immediately. You're right. I, so. But that's not too bad because presumably these cards get are better than the starting ones. Yes. Okay. Oh, but you can never discard your base crew. And later on in the game, if you are raided or a mech attack, and you lose a crew member, if you randomly draw a uh, a base card to discard, okay. you don't discard it. Your base crew never leaves your hand. That's fine. So I, I've I've recruited the quartermaster. I've got two spare money. I'll I'll buy some rum. Okay. So yeah, oh, that's me done. Okay. All right. I will now. Um, I think I'll use my. I'm going to play my deck hand. I'm going to put it in play because it has an in play action on it. And uh, this way, when I exploit on my turn, I get all both uh, resources from my ports. Usually, when you exploit, you only get one of the. You get to choose which resource right. you're exploiting from each port. 
but with this card in play, I can exploit both. So that's another use for the card. Rather than playing it and exhausting it, yeah. you can actually put it in play. Right. If it yeah. says in play, you can leave it in play next to your board, and it can stay there as long as you want until you pick it up, or somebody, oh, right. uh, maybe somebody uh, shanghais it using a crimp okay. and takes it away from you. Okay. So it should be turned in. Well, then I'm going to play my deck hand. I was talking about building a, a distillery, so I'm going to do that. I've got my deck hand. That's going to give me four copper. Uh, I'm looking at the the card that's telling me the cost of everything. So mm -hmm. um, four copper, two resources, and one steam. So I've got those two resources uh, that I need to pay. I'm just going to put them over here because the resources are all the way on the other side of the table. And uh, one steam. Now, Andrew, can I use uh, both the either the die or the steam, or can I only use dice during the conquer phase? I only use dice during the uh, conquer phase. Okay, that's what I thought. So I will have to use one of my steam markers. Oh, so these are steam player markers. Board. Each player's got three of them. Exactly. Yeah, that's how you how much you can store up steam. Right. These other things can be turned into um, uh, into supplies in your cargo hold. Yep. But steam can only be held in the engine. Okay. Yep. Um, so I've spent two resources, four copper, and one steam, which gives me a distillery. So I'm going to take one of these distillery markers and put it on uh, my port. It's the only port I control, but I could put it on, if I had another one, I could put it on another port. Okay. So that is my action. So do I have to play a card to take an action? Yes. Right. During the command phase, the way that you take an action is by playing a card yep. and then doing... Okay, so I'm not going to play any more cards. I'm going to pass. All right, so you're passing. Yeah. Okay, so I will then uh, play the gunner to... Well, maybe I'll play the... Um, no, I'll play the uh, gunner, exhaust my gunner, in order to buy an island resource. And it's back to you, Shay. All right. So I've been hearing Andrew talk a lot about uh, exploiting resources. I've seen that he's put another yep. um, resource on his port. So I'm going to play my bosun in play. And if you take a look at this card, um, when another player exploits, if I have a distillery, which is that symbol on the, the left there, um, I will gain all of the resources from one port I control. Right. So I'm going to benefit from him exploiting nice. if he does that during the round, during the conquer phase. Okay. Um, but I was I was only able to gain the benefit of uh, from this because I have a distillery. Mm -hmm. um, so. Yep. I will do that, and then that is the end of my turn. And I think we're all and out of cards. Well, no, it's or back no. to me because yeah, that's Paul, right, you've got one. Paul passed. I am going to play my bosun and build a distillery i'll just leave these here for now so you play the card to get full money you then spend two resources and a steam done okay yeah nice yeah and so now we're going to move once once he's uh done with that we're going to move on to the conquer phase and we can also if you take a look at this uh compass rose and can rotate that around so this is telling us our turn order oh, right. uh, with our Nice. Little player symbols. Yep. Um, so now we know where we're going left to right. And we'll start with Andrew. Okay, so it's me. So I will... Um, I am going to uh, exploit using two steam. So I'm going to use the die and one of my... there. So now I get, because I have... Two, I get four sugar. So just go, so what go over that. You can spend... Is he's using his steam... I'm sorry? Does that mean you can spend multiple steams to do that then? Yes, you can spend as much steam as you want the one time you exploit with steam. Right. You can only exploit with steam once per conquer phase. Okay, so you can only do it once, but you can, when you do it, you can use as many steam as you want. Yes. Right. Okay, so, okay, so it is Paul's turn then. So I'm going to move. So how does that work? Oh, no. Uh, before I move, I should probably... Because if I've got three steam... Um, I 
what I'm thinking is I've got steam here, so I've probably got some spare steam that I'm not going to use this turn. Is there any benefit? Right, but you remember. Go on. Just, just so you know, you don't automatically get steam back. So if you use all your steam, you should end with your ship on a port you control or Governor's Island, so you don't have to ask permission to uh, to spend resources or your crew right. income to uh, get more steam, or you're going to be stuck wherever you are okay. on the uh, on the map. Is there a benefit to me going to Governor's Island this turn, this round? Uh, well, Governor's Island, you can always uh, recharge your steam at during the command phase, mm -hmm. and you can buy island resources. Um, I Again, I, I'm not looking at your uh, patron request, but sometimes there's patron requests that have to do with Governor's Island, okay. so that might affect it. But you also have, now let me also point out, you have a uh, two letters of transit right on your board over there. One for the port you already control, and one for another port. What's the second port that you... Uh, I got Port Sterling and they, Port Phileas. Okay, so Port Phileas is way over here. So you could sail over here, turn in that uh, island, uh, the letter of transit, and then okay. explore the island. But the problem with that is, is that you, since it's three away, it would cost you three yeah. to get there because you are. Away, well, no, man. actually, you can't even get there. No. Yeah, you. No, you're too far away. But because I've got two well, steam actually... dice, I probably want to spend two steam this this round because otherwise that's a waste. Yes, but so you could get there with that. The other thing is there is a lot of negotiation and, and trading in this game. Yep. And I uh, I have the uh, letter of transit for my own port, which is right next to you, Port Florence. I'd be willing to trade uh, my Port Florence letter of transit with you for your uh for your port Phileas one so what does the letter of transit you like allow to you to do the letter of transit allows you to uh, explore an island so you would have to explore an island you take that letter of transit and you have to have your ship on the port that's listed on the letter of transit and then you would draw two island exploration cards from the top here choose one of them and then perform the action okay so, on so you're saying that, that i'm not allowed to just go here and explore here on which one? Oh, no, man. you have to have a you have to have a letter of transit for that port in order right. to explore there. And I think I randomly drew that. Okay. I think I have caches. So I've got. But I'm willing to trade you uh, Florence for Phileas, so... and then you could just sail over to the port here and explore that one if you want. And the the cards on uh, the island exploration, some of them you encounter new crew, which you can see. Uh, there are nine encounter crew right now okay. in the game, and you you would. You could choose one of them to add to your crew. Well, I, I might uh, just explore on the opinion. island that I'm currently on. I'm sorry? I might just explore no, on the island I'm currently on then. Oh, uh, you can't explore your own ports. Oh. Ports you control, you can't explore. Only other ports. Right. So the only benefit for me having this port sterling is to trade with somebody else? Yes. Okay. But you're saying that you want the port Phileas one? Oh, I'll trade for Sterling if you want. Either way. So is there a disadvantage of me allowing you to explore on this island? Well, I mean, I will. you'll you'll be able to explore, and we'll both be able to explore. I'll be able to explore a little more, but uh, I think Shay probably wants that Port Phileas one since he's next to you, so he'd probably trade okay. also with you, so then you'd have... Okay. Yeah, I, I wouldn't mind the Phileas one. Uh, what I would say for, for trading with, uh, with Andrew here, the only thing that I would say that you know, maybe would have you not wanting to give him the Port Sterling one is that, you know, then he's on your island, potentially he could attack it, but he, he's not going to be able to conquer your island this round. Right. He just doesn't have the, uh, he doesn't have the materials required because he doesn't have cutlasses. Okay, so these cubes so, are like the defenses of the island then. Exactly. Right. And the silver ones represent cutlasses, the brown ones represent rum, and the black ones represent can. Okay. Okay, so go on. So let, let, let's do that need... then. I will trade you Port Sterling um, letter of transit for Port Florence. Okay. Okay. So that is yours. Um, and then I'm going to spend one steam, if I've got this right, and I'm going to move my ship to here. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And is that it? I just move. I don't do anything else at the moment. 
Uh, that you can, can be you it. Could go right ahead. Oh, you could go right ahead and explore. Yeah, it's move it's or action are, or uh, both. Okay. Right. You get to moving's or moving is a free action. Yeah. Okay. So I, it I'm. Can count as an action. I'm going to use this port, Florence, letter of transit. Okay. Uh, so then I get it right back. And we'll explore. Okay, so you draw two cards from the uh, from the top of the deck here. Why don't we just do this one open so yeah. we can you can understand what it yeah. is. Just put them both down there. Okay. Oops. There we go. Right, okay. So we've got two right. cards. Okay, so your choices here are you can either uh, have the... Uh, Tinkerer card, uh -huh. Quentin Kerr, join your your crew, or you could take a patron reward if you choose this card. And patron rewards are yep. like hidden special actions; they're very powerful. Or you could do the there's like a Sophie's Choice kind of trade here, where you uh, give up resources and crew and supplies for to gain loyalists, or you give up loyalists to gain supplies. So you don't have enough of those. Well, you do. Well, do you have two? Cutlasses. Um, yeah. I don't. No, you have one. I have. Well, no, but you could use. You have an active. Well, no. Okay, so, uh, you could either, uh, give up two, two hundred thousand loyalists, which is like two points, yeah. and you would get a cutlass, uh, rum, and an influence. Uh, or you can take the tinkerer card in your okay. hand, but you would have to discard where, it. Where do I? Six now, where so. do I put those cutlasses, rum, and? influence that goes, that goes into your the influence goes on the influence track over here okay which we'll discuss more about that later but the uh the other supplies would go into your okay. cargo let's let, let's do that then and let me let me uh, give you some advice here i think that would be um well no that's good well, yeah so no that's good i'm gonna i'm gonna lose the followers so i've lost two hundred thousand loyalists uh, I get a cutlass, a right. rum, and two influence. So my influence goes up. And a cutlass. And, a cutlass. and let me just point out, on your next turn, because now you have a cutlass and rum, yep. right? You could sail over to Port Cassius here, and you could conquer yep. that port and have another port, which will, when you conquer ports, you get up to 300,000 nice. loyalists. You get 200,000 for uh, conquering the port, and if somebody else controlled it, you would take 100,000 okay. loyalists from them. But nobody owns it, so you would only gain two points for that. But the two points you just gave up, you exactly. would basically immediately get yeah. back on the next turn because so, you conquered So where do, I, um, where do I get the cutlass and the rum from? They're over here in the ah, stack here. Right. So there is cutlass. I'll just put this back room. on top. That, the old, one of them goes back, the one you didn't choose goes back on top. Yep. The other one goes to the bottom. And these take up two spaces so, in my inventory. Yeah. Got it. So. Okay. So that was me exploring. Right, on. But how did you move up? Did you get two influence for that, or was it, it was one? Two. It was two. Yeah. Really? Wow. Yeah. Didn't see that. Okay. All right. So that was. Paul's that, turn. That, and that was my is... turn. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I'm actually going to do the same thing. I'm going to spend a steam. I'm going to spend the the steam die that I rolled, um, and I'm going to move my ship over to Port Artemis, which I have a letter of transit for. So because this is a um, neutral port, I'm just going to put the uh, uh, letter of transit back on the island. Okay. Um, so whoever conquers this uh, will then get this letter of transit back. Oh, and they um, can then explore will... it again. Well, no. So again, you you can you can never explore a port that you control, um, oh, okay. but you can trade. Oh, you can then trade it. Right. Okay. Nice. Yeah. It basically becomes a commodity. Yeah. So what I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that I will uh, get uh, enough uh, resources. Like maybe I'll get a, uh, a cannon and a cutlass mm -hmm. from this, and then I will be able to use those to conquer the port and get the letter of transit back. Now that that might not happen, um, but uh, it would be nice if it did. So let's see what I've got. Um, so I've got one. This is going to give me uh, an extra an extra crew member, Margarita McLeod or Marguerite. Um, oh, so you got the card that I drew. Yeah, yes, yes, because you so put the... that back on the top. Oh, it goes back on top. Um, oh, right. Okay. 
the yeah. one you don't choose goes back on top. So you have a sense. You usually wouldn't be playing it open hand. You have a sense of what. Yeah. Because that, that would have been choose. secret, wouldn't it, normally? Yeah. yeah. So I can choose um, either of these. Both of these will give me a, a special crew member. Um, the mechanic also gives me a patron reward, but the uh, Magritte gives me an influence. Um, and either one, uh, the one that I don't pick, um, oh, or I could send Magritte to the tavern and get a patron reward from it. So I think I'm going to go with the mechanic. Let's see what these uh, cards do. Uh, where are you? So this mechanic, uh, the tinkerer. This will help me build a mech or a mine, or I could seize a mech or a mine. Um, and Magritte, where are you? Lady in waiting. Uh, so this will be a little bit harder to do unless I have an armory, um, but it will it will kind of punish other players. Um, I'm not looking to be that aggressive right now, so I'm going to go with the mechanic. I'm going to grab. Uh, Quinton, the mechanic, carer, and so when I grab that, that's going to go into my exhausted pile, right. yes? Looks like it, yeah. Unless some of those cards say they can immediately go into play, I don't believe that one okay. does. No, it doesn't. Um, so I, oh, okay, so if I had sent him to the tavern, I would gain a patron reward, but because I'm taking him right. into my crew, then I right. don't get that. Um, and I'm taking him into my crew because I, I, I like the, um, the abilities of it, but also I didn't pick up any crew during the command phase, and this guy is pretty good. Uh, even if I don't use the abilities, he's worth five copper, so that'll help me get more, more and more stuff. So uh, I'm liking that. Uh, but that's my okay. turn. Back to Andrew. Okay. Um, what am I going to do here? I am going to. Uh, I only have one steam, but I could get steam. Okay, I'm going to use my one steam. Where is my ship? Right there. I'm going to sail over. Is this the, I have Port Cassius, and I will also island explore. I'll leave that there. You're going to conquer that next time, so you'll probably gain it. And I'll take two of these. I know what one of them is. All right, so the other one, I get a mine. Cannon and influence for two hundred thousand. Um, yeah, I think I'll leave this one for later, and I will take the so at the beginning of the game. It tends to be pretty common to uh, explore. Um, because you know you don't have you know a ton to work with, um, and even if you get one of these choice uh, like give or take uh, options, yes, you might lose points for it, but you get resources that are pretty yeah. helpful in you know taking the other uh, ports around you, or you might get good crew. So it tends to be a pretty good early. Yeah, I'm treating it as an economic game, and I've just taken a loan. That's that's, that's the way I'm thinking of it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, and then later on in the game, when you when you do have a lot of resources available to you, they can be a really good way to get yeah. points. Okay, actually, while we're here, let me go over some for you. Let me move that back. Uh, this card I just mm -hmm. took, the, uh, the Marguerite McLeod. Uh, that one, I would need an armory to perform the action, but it also has some special things on there that we haven't talked about yet. Uh, there's, a, there's a guild bonus listed there that if I have a crew member in play of that guild type, which I do, I have uh, the Deckhand, which is a Ravage Guild yeah. uh, card in play. So if I was able to play this, I'm not, I don't have an order yet, I would gain this bonus also when I tried to perform this action. Right. Okay. Right? So, and then there's also the discard bonus that on my command turn, if uh, I don't use it for any action, I just discard the card i gain three i can discard the card for three influence and i would get to recruit one crew by choice from the tavern table draw or discard pile those are the the other right. piles on there there's the draw pile and the discard yeah pile. so when you when you say and, uh, discard it means it's effectively it's gone from the game for you right yeah, right, yeah it would go into this card it's no longer yeah. part of right and also, I think we should point out, which we didn't, and I don't know if that would have affected Paul's choice, but you can always, and there will be eventually a little four copper symbol here, 
you can always draw blindly from this deck for four copies. Okay. And right now, when the game starts, all the lowest cards are out on the table, the Ravage Guild ones. So everything in this pile is going to be a uh, Defender or Majesty Guild card, which is a higher level card, but some cost four, some cost more. Okay. It, but you don't know what you're going to get. Yeah, I, I possibly would have done that, but that's fine. I'm happy with the Quartermaster. Okay. Yeah. Right, I think it's my go. Okay. So yeah. now it's uh, Shay's turn. Uh, no, it's me uh, next. It's Paul's yeah. turn. So oh, I'm going to spend sorry. a steam and I'm going to follow Andrew to here. Yep. Stand up. It's not standing up. <laughs> <laughs> it's having a lie down. Oh, and actually, I'm very since tired I here, yeah. by the way, we, Shay, we forgot to flip these over. Since when you explore an island, oh, yeah. The first time you get to flip over the port okay. trades. So I've moved there and then I'm going to do the other action which is to attack, I think. Yeah. Is that what I'm going to do, or so, is it conquering? Which, which is it? Yeah, well, you're, yeah, well, you're, you're conquering. It's, it's attacking, part, okay. So, <clears throat> or conquering is part of attacking. So, yes, you are going to attack that port. Uh, I am in the vicinity, and there are and my port's in the vicinity, so I could uh, block your attack, but I am not going okay. to block your attack. Interesting. And you are going to play a... Cutlass and a yeah, rum. But what you're saying is that even um, though I'm not attacking you, and even though this isn't your uh, island, you could actually right. intervene. You can always intervene in other attacks if you're if you're present. So like if if you were attacking me and Shay was nearby or his port was nearby, he could help and intervene. I don't actually have anything to intervene. Right. I don't have any uh, cannon, so I couldn't intervene even if I wanted okay. to. But that's interesting to know that the level right. of player interaction in the game extends to even yeah. things that are not directly targeting you. Right, and even when we're playing command card, in the, when we're playing crew cards in the command phase, if uh, you play a card against Shay that would like swap dice or make him reroll or something, I could play a card to block that uh, if I chose Interesting. to. If it's, a, if it's something affecting another player, you can okay. block it. If it's not affecting another player, it's if you're doing just on yourself. Okay. It so just make a mental note because I don't want to break off in the middle of the game and talk about it. But when we finish the game today, let's just talk about the player count and how that level of interaction increases with, with a large number of players. We'll park that and we'll come back to it later on. Yeah. So I'm going to attack the island. And as okay. you say, there's a brown cube and there is a, a grey cube. Right. So the grey cube is basically right. defeated so, with rum and a cutlasses cup. and the brown cube is defeated with rum. Now I have a cutlass die, so I'd like to use that right. die rather than my cutlass, is that right. right? And you should always use the, the, the dice first or anything on deck. This is the on deck area. Anything up here at the end of the round during the muster phase, if you haven't used it, it goes yeah. away. Anything in your store in your cargo, you get to yeah. store and keep exactly. around. So you should definitely use those but, first. But yeah. I don't have a rum, so I'm gonna be using this rum here. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so that rum's done. Right. Okay. So and what does that do? Does it just remove the cubes? That removes this. You take these off. You take your little, there's a little marker over next to you, these little square markers down here. Okay, yep. You put down a port because that port is, is basically in limbo now. You would get this letter of transit since you conquered it. We'll flip this over. And in the muster, during the muster phase, you would claim your conquered port. At this point, nobody can conquer it. Uh, you couldn't exploit from it. You couldn't fortify it. Nothing can really happen to that uh, since it's in limbo until it's officially okay. changed hands. So what and when that happens, you'll add What was the significance of flipping to. this token over? Oh, because we didn't know what it was. Well, yeah, we didn't know, yeah, we didn't ah, know right. what that port produced. And it... There we go. Done. Produces spice. Okay. okay. So... Yeah, so, it's to me, so it's going to me, I believe? Yep. All right. All right. I... So I don't have... I only have two steam left, and I, I got rid of my other uh, steam thing. So I'm wondering whether I want to do any more movement. Um, so I, I think instead, I think I want to store one of these rums. Um, so I can uh, use the use the rum die and then turn it into a rum token. Okay. Uh, I think it'll be a Y. Uh, there we go. So, and turn that into a token. Um, 
And I'm still debating whether I want to go to Portfilius and get rid of one of the defenses, make it a little bit easier to, um, to, to conquer next turn. But for now, I think I'm just going to have uh, to have stored it while I while I ruminate okay. on that. So that's an action, is it? Using a dice. Oh wait, wait, no, hold on. I I had stepped away for a minute. No, you can't just store that with it. You can only store with the uh, with the crew card. You have to. Oh, I store during. It. You can't store right. Yeah, you can only store during during okay. the command phase. Sorry, I stepped away. Right. Now. Okay. Uh, All right. You um you can use it to fortify your port. Yeah, I can. Um. Okay. Well. That being the case, I think I definitely want to uh, go over to uh, Port Phileas, and I will attack it and just remove the rum yeah. from it. So hopefully, I will be able to grab it at the beginning of the next, next round, round. Yep. but we shall see. And it's back to my yep. turn? Yes. Okay, I am going to use two rum just to fortify my port. So what's that then? You spend the dice and you're going to add two brown yeah, cubes? Yeah, you spend the dice and then I just add and the port defense cubes to my port, but I got to find the right, right. ones. Okay. That was one right there. And the most you can have is six defenses on a port. And your ship doesn't need to be there for you to do that? No, you can fortify from anywhere. Right. And you can fortify any port too. Okay. Uh, thank you. All right, so it's back to, yeah, so uh, just on this exploration thing, I know you said that you can't explore an island that you control. Right. Do right. I control this island right now? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Will, no. You will gain but control of the well, island during the you muster can't phase. Use it because it's still you can't explore it because you only take control afterwards. I just put the uh, marker over there, but you don't take control oh, of all so, that. So I shouldn't have this just yet. Letter transit. Right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I right. Just That's fine. Do, so it would. That's that's fine. So I haven't got it yet, but I will get it when I control it. Um, I'm trying to think, is there right. any, because I'm going to control it in the muster phase. I've got two steam dice and that two steam dice is going to convert. That's going to get me all my steam back. So is there anything else that I should be looking to do at this point? Uh, I don't think okay. so. I what's think the, done pretty well what's the pay tribute? You can, you can't. You can put the steam to the side and uh, refill your steam. You can use the steam to refill your yeah. steam. Yeah. What's, what's the pay right. tribute action? If you look okay. at the um, mark, like over by the mark exchange cards and the island exploration, you'll see the tribute cards. There are three of them that are public right now, and these are public objectives that people can acquire uh, during the conquer phase. Right. So if you take this action, um, and let's say you're looking at this yep. one, um, you, if you are in a port with the Ravage Guild, yep. uh, then you can spend a cannon, a cutlass, and two oak, get, and you'll dis yeah you'll discard this card and get a hundred thousand yeah. loyal. Okay, no, I'm I'm not going to do that. So I think I'm done. I just used my remaining two steam dice. But also, you did conquer a port, so you completed this milestone. So you get this cube, or you could take a hundred thousand loyalists at this point. Well, in the have, game, I, have I conquered I it yet? Just the cube. Well. <laughs> You did conquer a port. It hasn't changed yet, right. but you did conquer a port. So you can put it on uh, the quartermaster, which you have one, so you don't need that. The navigator, or you Ding. can crew, but you have a lot of crew. I would absolutely yeah. do that. There yeah. you go. Okay. Alrighty. Shay, it's back to me. So I'm, I'm at Port Phileas here, and I know that, Paul, you have the letter of transit for Port Phileas, Maybe. right? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so... I have a letter of transit for Port Josephine, um, okay. which is this other port. Uh, would you maybe be willing to well, trade? what sort of things can be traded in this game? Uh, there's a lot of things that can be mm. traded. Um, it's a lot of things that are on your player okay. board. So anything that's in your cargo hold can be traded. Yeah. Um, you can trade letters of transit. There are also, if you look uh, just beneath your player board, you see there are two tokens that are promissory notes. And these are, uh, there's one for the command phase, one for the conquer phase. And these basically are telling you that, you know, if, if you have a promissory note from me, I promise not to do anything that negatively affects okay. you. And if you flip them over, you will see the consequences yeah. if I break this promise. Um, and when it says gain, that means you are gaining it from me, I believe. Okay. 
um, yeah. if I have it. However, if I don't have it, you're not getting it from the yeah. bank. Uh, so at the moment, I'm not that interested in that letter of transit that you have for trade. I'd be more interested once you've started getting some goods in your ship. So, well, what about uh, one of these uh, promissory um, notes as well? I, um, I, would, would that sweeten I'm, I'm the deal? okay at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, in that case, I'm just going to spend my rum and I will fortify uh, Port Josephine with the rum. And that'll be it. Okay, back to you, Andrew. And it's back to me, and I'm going to pass. Uh, and I pass. And I will pass hey, as well. Right. Okay. So that is the end of the conquer phase. And now I move on to the yeah. muster phase. And you can see the list on the muster phase is first to claim conquered ports. But actually, the first thing you do in the muster phase is we would have a, a privateer council meeting. Now I, now, I don't personally don't care for it to change at this point. So I will make a motion to adjourn the meeting until the next round. It has to be a unanimous vote to it uh if one person still wants to have it then we have to go ahead and have it but i'm going to make a motion to burn it does anybody want a second and third uh, no i think i want to have this meeting <laughs> okay all right um so uh so what this is going to do is going to it's going to start a, a council mm -hmm. meeting um there are uh we are going to have 90 seconds to place our votes on any of these six amendments yeah. And like I said before, uh, the bottom amendment we'll will replace the top, the top one. one if the bottom one wins. Um, these top ones are always there at the start of the game. These bottom ones are uh, randomly selected. Yep. Um, and we can, if we had wanted to during the command phase, we could have changed some of these out. But as they are, this is what we've, okay. what we've got for now. And uh, the way that we're going to vote is by putting uh, either resources or influence or on these cards. Mm -hmm. um, supplies, that's what I meant. Yeah, resources um, and supplies. Resources and supplies, yeah. So, uh, basically, the amount of space that a token takes up in your cargo hold is the amount of votes that okay. it's worth. Yep. So, the will of the people says that these three laws have right. two votes yep. on them. Every council the meeting, the, the pr proposed amendments start with one cutlass on each, and that is, like Shay said, the will of the people to make change. Wow. In New Caribbean. So, things will change if nobody votes. So if um, if we want to you know secure one of these things to, to have happened, any one of us can place one of our tokens onto uh, any of these amendments. So if I wanted to put you know one of my spice on this, I really want to make sure this goes uh -huh. through. Then that would be that would have three votes. The other thing I can do is I've got these influence counters. Um, now we have we haven't talked about it too much, but we have influence. Yep on uh, the side of the board here and uh, more influence or less. So we each start with, what is that, three influence effectively? Four, I think. And oh, no, that's right. so yeah. I think the, the first the first space is, is basically right. zero. Okay. Right. Um, so if I wanted to spend some influence on this, you see this token, it's got three sides, so it's three votes. Um, and if I, if I really want to make sure this goes through, I can put an influence here. Um, which means I'm committing to spend one of my influence um, to to this. Now, if at the end of the uh, at the end of the council, I can or before the the council meeting is over, I can move this around and I can change my votes with influence. Um, only only your influence vote can change. Yes. If you put down supplies or resources, they stay there permanently. But any influence votes, you can move around up until the last. So one influence. Vote. That's the benefit of using influence to. Yes, yeah, so one influence is three votes. Yes. 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 And so you have uh, five. One, two, three, four, five, five yeah. influence that you could spend up to if you want. Uh, Shay and I each have three. It's basically the amount to the left of your your uh, okay. marker. Um, so what happens is there's 90 seconds to throw whatever you want down. It's in real time on the top or the bottom one. The, only the bottom one replaces the top one. They the, they replace in line. So uh, ban an in-play crew. If, at this point, if nobody made any votes, ban an in-play crew would replace tavern max capacity for 
Uh, ban on defending attacks would replace uh, ban on mechs, and ban on raiding ships would would uh, replace ban on broadside. So you can take up to Paul. You could use up to five imports if you wanted to, or you don't have to spend anything if you don't. Care yeah, about I mean, obviously, I don't know what a lot of these things do. I can work out right. the tavern capacity and the ban on in play crew. So I'm I'm just happy to sort of. Yeah, might be a bit of a rogue right. element in this. Now, if you spend one influence to put one of these on, you said you can keep moving it around. Does it cost... No, just the envelope. Does it yes. cost an influence every time you move it? No, so you're only counting the influence that you spend at the end of the council right. meeting. You'll, you'll see how many you still have on the board, and that's how many uh, you're going to move down on the right. influence track. Okay. If I put this down, and then at the end of it, I say, you know what, I've changed my mind, oh. and take it off. Then I won't have spent any. Influence. Oh right! So it can be a complete because look. we are pirates. Um, so what? All right. So yeah. So I what's think, to stop me yeah, putting so putting all of my six influence on here and then two seconds before the end removing it all? Oh, you can't take it off the board. You can only shift around. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, that makes right. sorry. That makes that, sense. That right. Okay, I'm ready to. Okay, so you're ready. So we'll, I'll, I'll put a 90 second timer okay. down, and I'll give you. We need you the music. We need some countdown music. Second warning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, go ahead and start. Oh. So, I would like to keep this ban on broadsiding. Um, I don't want us to get too in each other's faces just yet. So I'm gonna put my influence on that just to make sure, sure that. You've that... got that in play crew on there. I do have in-play crew. I don't love the idea of not having that, but I also put, want there to be more uh, yeah. crew members so to, to recruit I'll from. I'll put one of my uh, island resources down. Do you have any island resources? Can't see your board. Mine? Me? Yeah. yeah. I have one, but I don't really want to spend it. Well, I mean, then we're going to lose our in-play crew if you don't. I mean, I'll that might just be there. uh, <laughs> how it goes. All right. And if there's a if there's a tie, uh, what the tie, happens? It's that the the enacted amendment stays in effect. The proposed amendment has to defeat it. So I will put two down there because I do not want to replace. Hey, you're rich. You got so much, so many resources. <laughs> oh, I've just I've, I've just yeah. one that yeah, I I've have. just accidentally put a counter on here. Sorry about that. Yeah, I didn't didn't mean to do that. But, <laughs> you know, it's there now, so I guess we'll we'll stick with it. Uh, uh, Shay, you gonna sp I already spent two. How about you spend some influence? We got fifteen seconds left. You I'm, I'm okay either way. I think both of them are kind of bad, so I'm. All right. You know what? I'm putting my influence down on this one. All right. You got five, four, three, two, one. All right. So that's the end of that. Um, so each of us is gonna go down yeah. one space on the influence track, uh, and then we can grab our tokens back. Although these all and the uh, fan on broadsiding one, um, the defending attacks are not directly involved with one, so that gets moved up. Right, and these two lost, so let's get rid of that. Move this. Uh, does the ban on raiding ships stay in the privateers code, or does that get removed? No, did you said broadsiding one? I didn't see you moved it. Broadsiding one. Broad, okay, so that goes away. So now. I'll grab the uh, all the amendments, shuffle them up, and put three new ones out there. Hold on one second. So it could be that you get the same ones back. No, you don't, no, you don't put those back in until. Oh, okay, now. so you get three new ones, and then those old ones get shuffled back in. Right. Yeah. So let's, see. let's uh, shuffle this up. I will take three, and these are. The, yeah, I didn't get all three. So now that that's yeah, done, right we'll do the uh, the rest of the muster phase. Mm -hmm. um, claim conquered ports. So, so yeah, place your tower, tower on the thing which you've done. Yeah. You have four random port defenses. So just grab four cubes from the defense things. Uh, let's put these back in there. Um, and then because uh, because you have conquered a port um and i think this actually happens when you as soon as you conquer it so it, it should have happened a little earlier but um 
Because it's a neutral port, you're going to get 200,000 yeah, uh, loyalists. You should have received the 200,000 okay. loyalists. That's right. So I moved your, your score marker back up. So now you're uh, tied with yeah. us again. Um, but you have a second port, which none of us yeah. do. Yeah, what, what happens to this little counter? Can that, can that be removed now? Uh, that's going to go yeah. back to your player area. Okay, got it. All right, so now we're back in the command phase. So let's rotate this. And uh, we're going no. to acquire a patron. Um, so I get to pick first because I am the cleric, um, and that's the order for uh, acquiring right. patrons. So now we're going to go back to this patron board, um, which is by your player board, and pick a new a new set of patrons. I'm going to pick the king because I want to make sure that I can conquer Port Phileas before anybody else. So I want to be first in the in the conquer phase. So I'm going to grab uh, that patron, and I'll put uh, my other one back. Right. So you're choosing turn order effectively. Yes. yes. Right. Yes. So now it's your turn to choose, Paul. You replace this queen. I'll move it. So over I can here. either have the queen you just or choose. the cleric. Yes. yes. And this costs me influence. Now this uh, so no, the card no. you don't uh, pay attention to right now. This is if you wanted to reserve one of these. During the command oh, okay. phase, that's an action you can do, and you'll get a benefit for okay. it. Um, or, or you'll have I, to pay I quite cost. like going in the middle, so I'll take the queen again. Okay, and I will then get the cleric. So these are the three because it's a three-player game. If we were six players, it would be yeah. all of these. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. okay. Nice. Um, so now we're going to muster our supplies. Yeah, this is all the, the cleanup. So... Um, if you have anything on deck, which is where your dice go, um, those are all uh, discarded. Um, and now uh, we need to update the market exchange rate. So is that just simply a new um, card? I'll do it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm trying yeah, a new card. I didn't card. do it properly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I zoomed all the way out of it. There you go. Very good. Um, um, and also, during this uh, time, if you don't like one of your patron requests, you can put it on the bottom of the deck and exchange it for a new mm. one. I definitely do not like that one. <laughs> so, yeah, so so put that on the bottom of the deck, and then whenever you draw from either of the patron decks, you're always going to draw two, okay. keep one of them, and put the other one on the top of the okay. deck. It's just like with the uh, exploration yeah. deck. I will keep both of mine. Yeah, I'm going to keep both of mine, too, uh, for now. I'm not sure if I can pull them off, but maybe. maybe. We'll see. Okay. Um, so I've done that. And uh, if there were any in-play cards that resolve at this point, we would do them, but I don't think any of us have those at the moment. No, we so don't now we have need those. to yeah. re-roll our dice. Open four. Okay. Yeah. Things. Okay. No, I had used this. And lastly, we are going to muster our crew. Yeah. Now, we, we talked about how many crew you can muster, but there's one more way to increase this track, which is by spending two influence. Right. If you spend two influence, you can uh, grab a, a green marker and increase uh, the crew that you can muster. And I think I'm going to do that because I can't use this... Uh... Oh, no, wait. We, we didn't do the... Um... The ban on in, in play crew. Well, I still have four crew member in my discard pile, so I'm going to spend two influence to get one of those markers. Yeah. I am also going to spend my last two influence to get that. Okay. So because I um, don't have any because I'd got that milestone, I'd got another crew cube yes. on here. That means I could refresh four of my crew without needing to spend any influence. Exactly. Correct. Um, oh, speaking of milestones, at this point we are going to flip over the next two. Oh, okay. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. All right. So now we have two more milestones that we can uh, do. There's attacking with a mech and most influence at the end of the round. Woo! Well, I think Paul's going to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that works out well for him. But we'll see. All right. So if you want to, uh, if you have a, an in-play crew... You can muster it back into your hand, but you don't have okay. to. 
Well, you can muster it. You have to exhaust it first, and then it would count as a... Uh, sure. Well, when, when can you exhaust it? You could exhaust it at any time. Right. On so any effect, turn, I mean, or like, in the muster phase, yes. Yeah. So I have four, and I'm reviving four, so that's fine. All right. Uh, so once everyone's done, I believe uh, Andrew's going to start off. We're round yeah. two. We round are in two, round yeah. two. I did yes. move the marker. Can yeah. I just ask a question? How do you get more patron requests? Oh, so once you have completed a request, you're going to draw okay, a new request. Right. You will always have two in okay. your hand. Thank you. There's always just two. Yep. And hold on. We reverse this order. This is one of those things that is so much easier to do in yeah. person than on tape. So, yeah. <laughs> just physically yeah. lifting a chit and putting it somewhere. All right. So it is my turn. And I am going to Oh, do we roll roll our dice? Uh, I did. I did. No, you did. I, I don't think I I don't think I did. Oh. My dice look different though, so I must have. All right. I'm going to play not my gunner. I'm gonna play my deck hand. And hire a quartermaster. Andrew, uh, one quick question: Do we refresh the tributes between rounds, or do those stay until someone claims? No, they stay until somebody claims. Okay. Okay. Uh, my go. And now it is. Awesome. I'm going to play yep. the quartermaster, and I'm going to gain my quartermaster thing, and my maximum crew is now nine. So, is there is there some token that I gain? Yeah, you put a marker right in the quarter match site. You also now have access to the secret cargo hold, and not that one. Oh, okay. It's a green marker. You put okay. The green markers are what go in there. They're hope it will hopefully be dual layer boards, or I'll do it for you. Right. Thank you. And then there will be a place for. So I've got secret so cargo go. hold, and my maximum crew is now nine. Yes. Yes. Okay. And the secret cargo hold, if you're attacked, if somebody tries to steal from you. Uh, the stuff in your secret cargo hold is, is never secret. taken or yep. moved. That's because it's secret. Okay. So just a, just a quick question. The quartermaster says on it, maximum crew nine. But is it actually because right. this green cube is here that my maximum yeah. crew is Yes, nine? that is correct. Right. Yeah. So you don't need to have him in it. You could lose the quartermaster card, but as long as you still have this green cube, yeah. you're fine. There's the only thing that can make you lose the green cube. There are cards that could make you lose the green cube right. from the quartermaster, but... Yeah, I'm just thinking that Max Crew 9 might be better written here on the player board rather than... Yeah, oh yeah, no, it, it, it will definitely, right. it's going to be right above it gotcha. right there. This is, uh, there's a few things changing on the layout of this uh, player yeah. board in the final version. This on-deck area is moving above the, so it'd be half on, half off, and getting rid of the slots so people don't think you can only put five things here because you can get tokens and things, and this is your on-deck right. area. There's no limit to it, it's just a guide. Okay. Cool. So that's me done. All right. So I need to. I think. I think I have a weird, complicated plan, and it's going to start with me playing this deck hand. Um, it has four copper, and I'm going to use that four copper to buy from the market. Oh wait a minute! I can't buy from the market because I'm in a neutral port, not one that I control. Shoot. Well, that change things a bit um well i still need to get that guy uh, all right hmm sorry that that changed my uh my plan a bit uh in the meantime i'm just gonna play the other deck hand to add a random port resource to a a port so i'm gonna improve the port that i have port resource Oh, it's more spice. Okay. So that's my turn. Okay, it's back to mm -hmm. me. Yes. Uh, I am currently at your port, I believe, aren't I? Um, you are. It's. Uh, would you uh, like to? Uh, was, uh, would you like a tour? If you would uh, give me permission to dock and uh, buy and sell some. Uh, 
resources or steam so you need my permission to dock for you i need your permission because i'm at your okay yes. and what's if i was at my own port or governor's island i could on my own but i am at your port so what what's so, in this for me then <laughs> i mean it would be awfully nice of you paul uh, no i mean get... <laughs> how about how about i am on the same areas and we share an island i will give you a promissory note that I will not attack you during the conference. That, that sounds good. Okay. okay. So that's what I was getting at, is, is what sort of note. negotiation is, is allowed in this game. I mean, it, it is the giving of stuff. Yes, all sorts of Right, so you've given me this, yeah. and I've said you can now trade okay. in my port. Right. Okay. So I'm going to buy uh, resources, and island resources and steam. Okay, and I need to see what the rate is. I'm going to buy. Wow, that's pretty expensive for need three spice. I have sugar. Um, I'm going to exhaust my uh, yeah. I'm going to exhaust the crew member I just encountered and gained uh, for the copper and I am going to buy uh, three spice which I think are right here and that costs six I believe uh, the price of spice at the moment is two yeah so i paid six yeah. and i took three okay. spice and uh i am also going to how much do i get for uh sugar sugar's sugar, yeah sugar's get, valuable this round two now you get two and how much is steam steam is two so i'm going to trade Are you still there? Yeah, Discord made just a funny noise and I seem to have lost them. So I'm just going to uh, quit Discord and then join back in again. Are you still here? Sorry, I had a bit of a uh, Discord yeah. uh, um, fallout. I'm back. Discord glitched. Discord's yeah. cutting out on us. You can hear me now? Excellent. Yeah, I can hear you. I can good, hear you, yes. good, good. Right. Is it my turn? Yes. I have yes. a question. What is yep. refreshing an exhausted supply die? Okay, so, okay, so uh, when you spend your dice in the uh, conquer mm -hmm. phase, you can, and if you have, what is the rate right now? If you have three sugar, you can cash in the three sugar and then bring it back. Oh, that's on this card here. It again. Okay, right. so when and just so you know, I'm about to do that. With I'm about to refresh my exhausted crew with spice, which is why I just bought that on so my next turn. So three spice will refresh an exhausted crew, and three right. sugar. Right, and that does not count as an action. Right, so three sugar will refresh an exhausted die. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but currently, we don't have any exhausted. Yeah, dice. we're not in the we're not in the phase yet where we're exhausting die, are we? Right. No. Okay. So. Um, I mean, there there is a possibility that you could exhaust a die if you had stored when you store cargo. Now you replace it with a token, so then it would. There is a way to die. The only one. Right. Um, and we. We can have things in play, yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can I'm put just your cards, my cards in because I've got. Um, yeah, so that's actually no good for me. Yeah, you 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 made me spend all my influence to make sure that uh, in play cards were still. So alive. I'm going to play this gunner, which is worth four. 
And I'm going to take a card from the top of the deck because you said these ones were better. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you can just put it, you don't need to show it to us. But there you go. It's five minutes. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's me done then. I've now got seven crew. I think I'm going to do something kind of quick and easy, which is just going to want to play my deck hand in play so that when I exploit, I will gain all of the uh, resources from each port of my ports and I'll gain an additional one from each because I have that distillery. So. That is going to help me with resources later on. Uh, but that was my turn. So, Andrew, you're up. I um, am going to first refresh an exhausted crew member with the three dice here. I'm going to bring back my core, bring in the quartermaster I just hired. Nice. And then I'm immediately going to play yeah. him again and gain the quartermaster. Yeah, I was I was going to do that, except I I wasn't able to uh, trade uh, because I'm at a neutral port, so I wasn't able to get the resources that I needed. But that was that was the thing yeah. I was hoping to do. So I have a follow up question to my last one, <clears throat> yep. Uh, yep. and I'm just going to reveal the request because this is what I'm trying to understand. So this this patron request is to okay. purchase enough sugar at Governor's Island to refresh an exhausted uh, supply. Ah, uh, right. right. So that's why you wanted to go to Governor's Island. <laughs> So if it's all clear yeah, but my yeah. question is, so, if you only use the the dice in the conquer phase, but you purchase sugar yeah. in the whatever phase we're in at the moment, how does that work timing wise? Okay, so I uh, if you oh, sounds like I'm you sorry. need to be at the Governor's Island you during have the to command be at phase. Gov and yeah. then you per you do all the purchasing during the command phase, and then during the conquer phase, you uh, you you refresh the exhausted supply die. Right. Oh, but does it say immediately? Yeah. That might yeah. be That's something to, uh, yeah. to rewrite. Yeah, we'll work that out. So does it mean that I can? Yeah, that that's the thing. Um, I'm I'm having to purchase the sugar now, but yes. but yes. then the die won't yeah. be exhausted so we'll, we'll until the yeah. command phase. So. Right. So what what's the way that I can achieve this card? So when you when you refresh the die, if you purchase enough now, when you refresh the die in the command phase, you can. Do okay. It. But it has to be at Governor's Island. Yeah. Well, you have to be at Governor's Island. I think the card is a typo on it there, but. Uh, right. So. Let me uh, and tributes remind me the tributes. That's these, isn't it? Tributes are up top. Uh, and we're not doing that yet, are we? That's in the that's in the next phase. Yes. Okay. Um, and again, this is another one where to pay tribute, you have to be at a port with that icon on there so for the bottom left one here you'd have to be at a majesty yeah. to be at so a i can complete either of those to, to pay those yeah. yeah okay um yeah so i think we'll do the same thing that you two have done so i'm going to use this deck hand to add a random port resource so port resource and we'll add it to where i am so that just goes on there oops not on there Oh, yeah. So, so just for, just so you know about that other card, what you're supposed to do is like if you had uh, an exhausted die because you had stored something, mm -hmm. right? Then mm -hmm. then you would uh, have an exhausted die that you could refresh. You understand from the question you asked before mm -hmm. about how do I refresh the die? Because you can store stuff, and the point is that you would have had it's a kind of a multi-level thing. You would have stored the die. It wasn't a typo. I just realized remembered what that was about. You have to store. Uh, a supply, supply like, a cannon, like a cannon or a cutlass or yeah. rum, and then that would cause you to have an exhausted die. Yeah. Then you could go over to uh, the, see the 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 point of the, the, point of the uh, patron request cards are that they're kind of multi-layered in the things that you have right. to do. It creates a chain of actions that you have to do in order. But, to, to but do what that. I'm saying is that you you purchase sugar in this phase now, which is the right. Right. command phase. 
but in the command phase, you won't have any exhausted dice. Well, that's the thing. You can well, have an exhausted would... die during the command phase if you uh, do. Let's see, where is it? To, uh, the store. The second uh, one down the list. The second thing on the list is store one on deck supply and cargo. When you do that, you put the token in the cargo and the die. Is oh, but that's the only time. You're oh, okay, so the bit I've missed is so that you have to use a crew to do that. Right. So it. So again, they're multi-leveled. So you would have to have stored a die, be at Governor's Island, purchase uh, enough sugar, yeah. and then use that sugar to revive the die. That's how okay. you would get. So that I won't done. be doing that this turn then. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, Sorry, that's man. okay. Um. So I think it's me. Oh no, no, I, it's not me. Yeah, I did my deck hand, so we're good. Oh, is it to me? Oh, yep. is it to me? All right. Um. Oh shoot. Oh, that's right. I, I'm gonna spend this gunner, and I'm gonna grab the uh, quartermaster. Still have. Uh, I'll still have a coin how, left, how many, but I don't... How many crew do you have? Do you have six, I have six. or five? You have six, okay. Yeah. Uh, All two, right. two out, uh, three in the exhausted, and one in my hand. So it's back to me? Yes. Um, what do you have over there? You've got... Uh, you've got one steel. I am going to play my... Uh, do I want to put my bows in? Yeah, I will put my... I uh, don't want you to see that. I grabbed too many cards there. I'm going to put my uh, bows okay. in. in since, we, uh, since I grabbed the last um, card in the tavern, yeah, we, yeah. we get another one, do we? Yes. And here, I'll do it. And if, you, if it's a matching... If it's one matching... Uh, you always stack the same crew okay. type. Doesn't matter, regardless of their guild, you stack them. So every seat will always have a different crew type. Right. In it. Okay. And that's my action. I just played that. So it's uh, back to you, Paul. So, oh, I had a plan. Uh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, building a mine. What do mines do? Okay, so if you place a mine in front of a port, uh, that port can no longer, you, you can't exploit from that port. And also, if anybody sails into the hex with that mine, uh, it blows up the mine and damages their ship. Or if there's a mech that sails through it, it destroys the mech. So it basically becomes an obstacle and it stops that port from exploiting. Okay. But you can only place mines where your ship is or in front of your port. Right, so it's one to. of those mines, but, uh, not one of the mines that I was thinking of. Wanna... Like, you know, the mine where you go down and get coal and oh, yeah. iron. Oh, yes. It's not that. <laughs> right, yeah, no, no, no. It's, it, it's, one of, it's one of these over here. This, this, this is, is a mine. It's one of those mines, right. Okay, yeah. so forget that then. Um, so... I mean, I can refresh four crew, and I've got four crew. But I think, so exploiting is going to come in the conquer phase, isn't it? Yes, so, yeah. Yes, there are crew cards that are la higher level crew cards that allow you to exploit during the command phase. But none of yeah. us no, I'm, I'm going to put a boat uh, way into, into play so that when other people exploit, I can get something as well. Well, hold on. No, oh not. no, I can't. Did you, did you build a distillery? I don't have a distillery. You have to build a distillery. And I can't build yet. a distillery because I don't have two different resources. But I could buy a resource. Yeah, you can buy a resource and then make sure you have four copper left, uh, or you have a crew See, card. See, spice is cheap right now, isn't it? Copper. Spice is very cheap. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to play the gunner and buy three spice. Is that right? No, hold on. No, hold no. on. Let me see. Uh, the, the, the purchase cost is on the oh. left. The selling cost is on the right. It so costs, it costs two. two. To buy. Okay. And you get one copper for it if you sell um, it. So in which case, let's not play that one. Let's play... 
uh, that one instead, and let's buy two spice. So one, two. Right, uh, is me done? I can put that in my secret hold. And you can always rearrange the stuff in your yeah, cargo hold. Well, you can right. You can, right. You, can, you can rearrange it if you if there's a breach. But if somebody's, you can't just move it there into the secret cargo hold as somebody's about to yeah. steal it from you if they're yeah. going to steal it. Right. Okay. So, question, Andrew. Now I have six crew total. Um, so if I wanted to buy one of these, or I want to hire a, another crew member, I would have to, uh, would have to discard. discard. Uh, but I can't discard my base crew. Is that correct? Right. Yeah. Mm. You never lose your base crew. Okay. So that's tricky because I, I saw a crew member that I really wanted, but in order to actually get it, I, I would, would have to. I would do what to... I do. I mean, mm -hmm. if you have something that gives you uh, six, produce six copper, you could buy three spice. I can't. Then, um, that's the thing. I was going to do that, but I'm at a neutral port. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the thing, was the thing I was going to do at the beginning yeah. of, the, of the round, but yeah. I can't do it just you yet. You left yourself in a bad place. I, I was really hoping that I was going to... I don't know what I was hoping. I guess I just forgot about that. So I think I might pass. I, I do still have this card in my hand, but I think... I think it's better to to keep my in-play crew than to lose one of them, because I know we're going to be exploiting in this coming round, and I want to get all the resources from that. So I think I'll pass. Back to me. All right. Um... Hmm. Yeah. I think... What is that on the table here? What's in the tavern to buy? Well, those are all pretty expensive. I do like this one. No, oh, I do not have any resources left. So you know what? I'm going to play my gunner. And I am going to... Play my gunner and change the die face of the rum to steam. I can figure out. There we go. Well, that's my turn. Back to you. Yeah, so I think I'm going to construct um, a building. And you're saying an armory is is like a distillery but better yeah but you have to have an art you have to have a distillery first if you notice oh yeah you okay, need to right. have a distillery there in order to so if i've got this correct yeah. a gunner is worth three coins i then discard one of these spice for one coin so that's me four coins then i discard right. two of those resources yeah and the steam which can be a dice yep. or not? Uh, it's supposed to be a, uh, yeah. a steam. Okay, and then yeah. I've built a distillery. Yep. So yep. I'll put it here. And that's your turn, that and I turn. pass. I've got nothing left to do, so it's back yeah, to you, Yeah, I Paul, then put this into play. Shay is already passed. Yep, yep. and now you got them. Yeah, it's over there. Okay. And then I think we're all passing, aren't we? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. And now we're going into the conquer phase, so let's flip the board. And day is for. Yeah. Well, there was the one thing that I wanted to do that I want to make sure I could do, so I will be spending my mm -hmm. cutlass to attack Portfilius, which means I have conquered it. Yeah. The more conquered thing there gets me two points. Uh, and what do we got here? Oops. Flip. There we go. Oak. Excellent. That is something that I want. Or that I will want in the future. Um, so, uh, Paul, it is your turn. Yeah, so this is the conquer phase where you can basically move, attack, 
exploit stuff. So I'm yeah. I'm I'm yeah. definitely moving because I need to be I need to be here. Now remind me, is right. is there something I can do here or not? Uh, uh, no, only uh, in the command page. Purchase, purchase stuff, but it's a neutral territory. Yeah. So, okay, no. that's fine. But you can do, yeah. There's you could still fortify maybe if you wanted to. Um, yeah, I'm okay for the moment, but I, there's, there's nothing I can do at this island then. No. Right. No. Yep, that's fine. Right. Okay. I'll go and see okay. the governor. I will go. I am going to use one steam die and move over to Port Sterling. And I will explore Port Sterling. Which means you're getting that back. Did you get that? Did you get that actually goes to me, does it? So that I can trade it. Yeah. If you control, you control ports. Right. So it goes. Back but I could to trade you. that to you again, and, and that would I... allow you to explore again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's something you were thinking of doing. Uh, no, but <laughs> I'm we, just. I think we could checking. possibly come to an arrangement. All right. All right. Uh, you know what? Maybe. Hmm. Do like, like this one, but I don't want to give up more. I, I could use some influence. Do I want a cannon? And a mine. Um. I'm going to put this one back on top. I'm going to use this one. Give up 200,000 loyalists. Take two influence and four. Well, do it's fine. And I'll take four island resources and put that at the bottom of the deck. And I will take. Sugar. I know what I'll take two sugar and two. No, wait, I've crew produced sugar, so I will take four spice. Okay. Yep, yeah, I think so. Yep. All right, uh, Andrew, uh, two quick th questions about, since I conquered a port, do I flip over the port trade now or when it's claimed? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, you can flip it over now. Okay. But I still can't trade. I mean, you're right. You're supposed to flip it over when it's conquered. Okay. So will I be able to trade this now or? No, it's one that port is claimed. Okay. If you had the other thing. Hold on. Did, you ex did anybody explore this one? Not yet. No. Yeah. So no. Okay. Um, and then the other thing is, do I gain influence from conquering a port? Yes, you do. Was it two influence or one? No, it's just one. One. Okay. But if you We're conquer this third port on this island here, had I a cannon, be... I would do just that. Um, yeah. But for now, I am going to spend uh, my steam to exploit. And so I'm exploiting Port Josephine, and because I've got that deckhand, I gain all from each of my ports, and I gain one additional from each. So I'm going to gain two spice, right, so you, and I'm going to grab an oak. Okay, so you exploited, and yes. uh, both uh, Paul and I have when another player exploits in play. Don't you, yep. Paul? Did you put that in there? So you will gain all of your island resources resources from one port nice. you control so i'm getting two sugar and you get uh yeah. those three you're welcome. you're welcome folks so <laughs> is that what what's the benefit of me controlling a port other than my home one what am i getting for this other than your what wife? am i getting for controlling this 
Well, you just uh, got... so you get points when you conquer it. You also have more um, resources that you can exploit mm -hmm. when you are uh, when you're yeah. exploiting. Um, so now you have you know full spread of resources between right. your ports. Um, so that's you could that's also cool. build another uh, distillery. So if somebody conquers your one port, you would still be able okay. to. Uh, yeah, but it it doesn't generate stuff automatically every round. It's just. No, no it, ge it generates it for you when you yeah. exploit. You have to, there's no, right. And, but like it did just automatically something for you because you had your bosun in yeah. play and uh, they exploited and you got everything yeah. from okay. both for that. Yeah. Well, I, I, the boat, yeah, this card is getting all of the resources from one port that I control. So I just got it from this one. I didn't get this one as well. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, so it's back uh, to me. I think it's me. Yeah, it's me. I'm second. Um, if there is anything I want to do, and I'm not sure. Oh no, we're we're in the um, command phase, aren't we? So yeah. So I'm going to spend this. No, we're in the, in the conquer, conquer phase. phase. Sorry, I'm going to spend that to get a rum, yeah. which I'm going to put in my secret hold, so you can't get your hands on it. Wait, hold on. What what did you just say? What did, oh, is that right? Second. That's the thing that I accident that I uh, no, 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 mistaught. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't yeah, do that during the conquer phase. You, you have to use a crew card in order to do that. Right. In the command. Oh, okay. Phase. Now you could just spend it. Uh, except I can't spend it because I've nothing. to... Oh no, I can spend it to reinforce. Yes. Right. Okay. Which is probably. I think that's the only thing I can do with it. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So yeah, I at this point I guess I will yeah. spend uh, the rum and the cannon to put a rum and a cannon on here. You sure you don't want to do that to poor Cash? Uh, well, actually, I might put one on there and one on there. <laughs> yeah. Right. And right. that he's on Sandy <laughs> one. Right. Yeah, one on each is fine. I mean, Andrew's not going to attack me anyway. He promised. Right. I can't attack you. Oh, let me tell you a story of the time that Andrew lied to my face in this very game. Surely not. It's I asked him game, once, Shane. are you going to attack me? It's a pirate and he said no. And I said, I'm not talking about the game. You, I want you, Andrew, to promise me, Shay, that you will not attack me. And he said, I promise. We're only and then talking in the game, Shay. The very next Go turn, on. what do you know? <laughs> You see, Andrew's roughly the same age as me, so we can basically blame it on memory loss. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I don't yes, remember I saying that. I told you that, Jay. No. <laughs> All right, so All right, who, who's, who's up? I think it's Andrew? It's, it's me. It's me. Okay, well. I am, in fact, going to attack you, Paul. <laughs> what? So... But I didn't yeah, think you had so the right as, stuff to attack me. No, I, I have uh, rum and a, uh, I have a cutlass. But you need two cutlasses and no, three rum. Right, you know what? You could just reduce the thing. But see, and the, the deal with it with that is you have the, uh, you have my, uh, yeah, promissory note, right? Yeah. So what what would happen then is, is that. You could take up to three influence, but I only have one, one influence for me. Or you That's could two. use it. What? You've got two. Yeah, he's got two. I have two. Oh, that's right. I looked at the wrong. <laughs> I usually play green. Well, okay. Well, I'm not. I'm not and I never play red, so it's confusing. Uh, yeah, it confused me there. I looked at the green because I was. All right. All right. No, I'm not going to attack you though. But had it, had I done that, and I had to, you would take either the two influence or uh, a cannon from me, which okay. I don't have, or you would keep the uh, the promissory. But you would. And but my my question is, attack. but I you I'm wouldn't not, have been able to take the island because you don't have. Oh no! Oh no! Right. I'm not even. I'm not even close. I don't. Yeah, you have five. Things. I was just going to reduce one to try and get my promissory note back for one. Uh, influence since you're already full of influence, right? But it doesn't I see. matter. 
Um, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do, I don't have much to do there. I am going to, what was the die I spent, Steam? No point in spending all that for there. I guess I am just going to move back to my own port. You know what? No, I'm going to move to Governor's Island. Very nice here. Yeah. Use that and that. Yep. Thought I'd visit you there, Paul. All right. That's all I'm doing. Go ahead, uh, Shay. Uh, Paul, did you take influence from Andrew for breaking his he, promise? He changed oh, his I mind. Didn't break the promise. I didn't attack. Him. Oh, you didn't attack. We, oh, okay. We talked him out of it. And I, gotcha. He realized that yeah, in realize his ways. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. So, uh, okay. So, uh, Andrew, correct me if I'm wrong, but when I uh, fortify a port, I can fortify any port. It doesn't just yeah, have to be. Yeah, you can fortify any port, right? And you don't have to be there. Yeah. Okay. Really so I'm. I'm. I'm gonna fortify. Yeah, I see. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put a rum. Come on, come on. Give me a rum. There we go. Now I can't get this just yet, but I don't necessarily want you guys to have an easy, easy right. shake at it. Yeah. So I'm gonna fortify port. Oh, Artemis. you can even fortify a port that you're. You can fortify any port. You, yeah. You're yeah. not there. You don't control it. Okay. Right. It's like you've got a network. You've got, you've got a network of yeah. operatives that are working for you around. All of New Caribbean, and you basically tell them, "Here's the, here's what you need to, what you need to fortify okay. that port." We're good. Yep, I think I'm done. Yep. I don't think I'm doing anything else. Uh, 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 it means it's my uh, your turn. Who's no, it's to you. My turn. My turn. I uh, I don't want to waste that cutlass, but it looks like I'm going to have to. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I guess I'm passing. Um, now you said that I can't trade at this port? No, not yet. Until I control it? Yeah, until it's controlled, right. Okay, um, then I'll pass as well. Because that wasn't supposed to be flipped over yet. Oh, okay. I just, it, yeah, I just it's wanted, supposed to be flipped over. I said go ahead and flip. Yeah, go ahead. All right, well, that's good. Yeah, that's fine. I'll to make it more, there you go. It's like yeah. that still until you claim the port. If you had ex if you had explored the port, it would have been flipped when you explored it. But right. Nobody yeah, explored it. I think we're all done, aren't we? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we go to the uh, council phase. Do we want to have a council meeting? Um, I'm. Uh, hold on, let me look at the. Yeah, I'd like to have a council meeting. Okay. So, what does ban on right, enemy cool. crew in play mean? Uh, so, there are, uh, so, there are crew cards that are in play, and there are crew cards that are, like, in play on an enemy. Okay. So, basically, you would play the card, and it would go in front of one of your right. opponents. Um, and it, it would block them from doing things or, or cause true. them some sort okay. of loss. Yeah, I don't think we have any in the uh, tavern just right. yet. Okay. but uh, Marauding port? We'll probably see some. Hmm? A marauding port is when you've got a marauder, and you know how we share an island. You have the you have the uh, port. You have port caches. To have port. You'd have oh, okay. to do a land attack with if neither of our ships were there. You'd have to have a marauder, in so that you would kind of know that I might be attacking you if I had a marauder in play, and we share right. a port. But I don't have marauder, okay. and you do have my problem. And right blocking crew actions. Does that mean your crew can't do anything? No, so right. Well, so like there are things like when somebody, if somebody played a card to swap a, a die with you, uh, oh right, you could block it with a crew card of the same guild or right. higher. This would stop that from you. Oh, you block can't anything. block it. Right. Okay. Right. Who knows? All right. So, Everything that's on here is kind of uh, stopping you from doing mean things to your opponents. Um, so I'm kind of okay with letting all of these slide. Yeah. All right. I will start the 90 seconds. Okay. Anybody can put anything on there that they want. I'll tell you when there's 10 seconds left. I am personally fine with everything being swapped out. Well, 
So I'm, it looks like the will of the people is going to do it unless somebody votes. Well, I, I've got something really important to do in this 90 seconds because cheesecake has just arrived. So if you want to start the 90 second <laughs> countdown, I'm going to have some cheesecake. Oh, really nice. Alright, well, while Paul is gone, we should probably uh, figure out how we're going to destroy him, right? And then... I'm still here, I'm just eating. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alright, oh, All right. Well, this is what happens when I don't look at the video. <laughs> if nobody's doing anything, we'll do a 10 second timer to speed this up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we'll stop it there. And these things all get replaced. Pull this off there. I will grab three to replace those. And I'm gonna flip over to the next uh, crew cards. Yeah. Oh, I missed. I need you to grab all this. Emissary. Eat. Get on the thing. Uh, right. So, the new 3R, the new three proposed amendments. Ban on stealing on deck supplies, ban on raiding ships, and ban on supplies and cargo hold. Secret cargo hold can still hold supplies. Wow. Um, well, you just got a quartermaster also, though, Shane. Yep. So, Paul, uh, an example of uh, you know a card that is used against an enemy player and something that you might want to uh -huh. block is the crimp. Um, so if you take a look yep. at the crimp, which just came up in the in the tavern, you can Shanghai a crew member, which is just stealing right. one of their one of their crew. Um, so if I were to play that uh, against you and you wanted to block that, uh, if you had a, uh, a a card of the same or a higher guild, um, so a defender or majesty, uh, you could exhaust that to block right. my action. But okay, but now. You cannot, we cannot, cannot block each other's crew, crew action, so. so, yeah, okay. Right. So, finishing up the muster action, I'm going to claim my my new port. Uh, I'll put some more defenses on it. I cannot flip these cards. There we go. Did you change the market rate? Uh, I, have uh, I have not changed the market Th rate. This is at the point where I spend the steam to get a steam, isn't it? Uh, so steam dice should be spent to uh, turn into steam during okay, the conference. I should have done that then. Yeah. I think we can. Yeah. You can go ahead and do it, yeah. and do it if you hadn't. And then we select a new patron. Yeah, roll your dice. Everybody want to exchange new... their patron request? Uh, I'm, I'm good with mine, I think. Okay, so I guess we're just rolling supply dice and reviving. Oh, we need to acquire a new mm -hmm. patron as well. Right. So Andrew starts first with that. Um... I will, uh, I'm going to take the queen this time. Uh, in which case, I will take the, uh, the king. It's me, the cleric. Master your crew. Uh, yeah, reviving crew. So right, I only get four of my crew dice. back. I rolled my dice. I'm going to take all six and then put two back. 
Uh, which two do I not want? I'm actually going to grab yeah, my deckhand back from being in play. Do I not need that one? And do not need that one. Okay. Right, so I've refreshed my queue, uh, crew. I've re-rolled my dice. And I'd already flipped that. So I think it's right. Uh, Command. Uh, so, so you were first. I think so, because I took the You're king. You're last in the command phase. Yeah, so I'll, oh no, I'll I'm be last. First. Yeah. You're last, You're last in the, the command, command phase and first in the conquer okay. phase. Right, okay. So, I need some steam. I only have the one. I didn't roll any steam dice. So I might spend one of my uh, people to just buy some steam. Buy it for one. So any of these guys will let me completely fill up. So I'm just going to drop... I'll drop my gunner. Gives me three money. Two of which I shall spend on steam. Yeah, that'd be good. Uh, Andrew. Oh, uh, Paul, you get this other marker over here. The oh, that's right. Marker. Yeah. You had the most oh, points. Uh, oh, and we need to flip over the next two. Remind me where yeah. else this can go. You can have a navigator, which gives you moves two spaces instead of one, or you can five more. Yeah, I'll do that. Or you can take a... Or you could take 100,000 loyalists. Oh, I'll take 100,000 loyalists. I would take the marker. You think? And I would use it as a navigator. Yeah. Navigator, navigator is important if there's none out there, so you'll be moving fast on the rest okay. of us. That'll upgrade your ship better than ever. Okay. There weren't any other milestones achieved. Were there? No, I don't think so. Right. Uh, Andrew, I think it's your go. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, what, uh, what, uh, what would you like for a... Uh, I, mean, I, don't have much to I mean, I don't have much to offer here. What would you like, would you like for a letter of transit? What, so oh. that you can explore again? Yeah. yeah. Um... I think at this stage, I would probably. I do have some uh, resources. Yeah. I, can give you. Uh, I mean, I'm a, I'm in desperate need of because I need to buy. Oh, it's now four sugar to refresh a dice. Oh, I've got sugar. Oh, I've got sugar. sugar. Yeah, but I've got, according to this card, I have to buy it. Is that is that right? Yes, that is true. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't just you pay to, to refresh your dice. I actually have to purchase all of the sugar that I need to refresh right. a supply die. Yeah, yeah. and it's it's three sugar. It's three to purchase sugar. Yeah, so that. So oh, and it's four so that's sugar going to cost me twelve. Saying. Right, so you, you would have to spend twelve in order to get that. It'd be very. Yeah. Expensive. Now, how how do I get twelve? I round. could sell some stuff, but selling stuff right. is actually not that. It's, it's quite expensive. Yeah, there's no, and you wouldn't have enough. Anyway, even if you used your top crew card, you would need more than just the two, which you would actually need some resources. Yeah, your resources only sell for and one, though. Hold on. Let's think about this. Uh, sugar gets you two. Sugar is worth most. So that would give you four. Four more copper to buy... Uh, to buy more and you would need 12 you have no you still wouldn't well, have enough, i'd have to throw away multiple cards to buy things so i yeah. think well no you can only use one crew card yeah but i can use so you only get I can to use, use one, one crew card to buy sugar and then i can use another crew card to buy more right. sugar is that right oh, I don't oh. 
I don't remember exactly what your crew card says. It's similar to other ones. I mean, the patron request card. Uh, purchase enough sugar at Governor's Island to refresh an exhausted supply die and immediately refresh one of your die to gain the following. Right. I mean, the, the idea is it's done in one turn, but it doesn't say in one turn. It's oh, okay. So how do I get um, 12 money right. in one turn? <laughs> yeah, it's too expensive right now for you um, to pull that. Well, is it? I mean, all I would need is seven, seven extra coins. And if I played a card worth... You have a, you I have have a, five. a five. Yeah. Yeah. So you would need, you know, three sugar and one spice or one yeah. oak. Um, and but if you gave me two sugar, that would be four, or five, you don't... six. Yeah, I mean, all of your stuff, that's worth one, two, three, four, five, six. That's worth eight. So if you were to give yeah. me two right, sugar want... and one of the spice. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Two sugar. Yeah. And five. I give you this. There you go. Yeah. We have a deal. Oh, wait. Hold on. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. Do you have uh, Cassius? Uh, yeah. Oh, is that the one you wanted? I wanted Cassius. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and do that thing? Um... Is it my turn? I think it's your turn, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it's still my turn. I think oh, it's your still turn. My turn. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah, all right. Um, um, all right. So. All right. So. I'm going to build. I'm going to build, upgrade my thing to an armory. I'm going to exhaust this crew card. Uh, that's uh, worth that's one more than needed. I am going, going to use two resources nice. and, a yeah. and a steam. And it upgrades the armory into a distillery into an armory. Yeah. 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 I'll there get rid of that. Okay. Right. So on my go, if I've got this right, <laughs> uh, well, no. First of all, I have to exhaust the dice. So I'm just going to play this card to exhaust the cannon to take a cannon. Oh, cannons are big. There we go. Okay. That's my go done. All right, so I'm going to play my quartermaster to get my quartermaster space. Um, yep. So, nice and easy. Okay, I think I'm going to use my quartermaster for his copper. And... Yeah, I'm going to use the Quartermaster's Copper and take Dewart. Uh, back to me. So I, th I think I'm going to do yeah. it. So I spend five, <laughs> five money. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Six, seven. Eight, nine. Ten. 11, 12. It does seem mm -hmm. silly to spend to spend sugar to buy sugar. Yeah, you gotta spend sugar to make sugar, honey. <laughs> well, I think that gets me. Uh, well, I, I get the four sugar, which then I immediately spend. Right. And to refresh right. the die. You immediately use it. Which completes this patron right. reward. 
Uh, oh, sorry, it completes this patron right, request. The patron request. Yeah. And so, do you want a patron to draw a patron reward? You get to take two and choose one. I, or do I you will want take a patron reward, reward because that sounds interesting. All right, yeah. So take two, and then choose which one you're going to keep, and you keep it secret so we don't know. Okay, and then that goes somewhere, and this goes. Where does this one go? Bottom of the deck. Uh, no, it goes to the top. The one you don't choose. Oh, wait, the one you don't choose always goes to the top, so you have yeah. some vague idea of what people. Okay, call. so I have that, and then I get a new. Patron request. Yes. And yes. draw two and yeah. choose one. So always draw two, choose one. Okay. Okay, done. Uh, is that to me? Uh, is that to yeah, me? I think so. I'm yeah. just glad I did that. All right. I... <laughs> <laughs> you get uh, did you get uh, did you get points or did you get a? Uh, I took a special secret. Reward. No, he took the patron reward, reward card. Reward. Okay. Yeah. Ah, those can be pretty powerful. Um, okay, so I'm gonna play my deck hand for the copper so that I can buy some more spice. It's a uh, two for spice, so I'll buy two spice since I have four copper. Nice. Right. Andrew, it's you. Um, how many crew do I currently have? Two, three, four, five, seven. And I have one thing left. Uh, I'm going to buy, I'm going to use my gunner to get the next level gunner. Cannons are the black cubes, aren't they? Cannons are the black cubes, yeah. Two, four. You grab that gunner? Yeah. And draw another one. Oh, Marauder came out. out. But there is a ban on Marauding Ports, but Marauders can still be used to raid ships, which is pretty, pretty useful. Hey, so... Whose turn is it? Uh, who just went? Uh, it I think it's me. I just took the gunner. Yeah, I just took I the gunner. It's so it's your turn. It's um, your turn. So I, yeah, I think I'm just going to play uh, a card, exhaust this cutlass to take a cutlass. Hey, did... Hey, did... By the way, did anybody move your loyalist count when you? Fulfilled that. Uh, oh, I you took, know, the reward, took the reward. Right. Took the reward. Yeah. That's right. Uh, yeah, I was. And which was? I'll try and remind myself what it was if I remember how to look at the other side of a card, which I don't. Can't remember how you look at the other side you of a card in, in Tabletopia. I think there's a way of doing it. I'm not sure. Uh, so I'm done. I know you're doing the other one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> It's been uh, a very a non-attacking game so far. Nobody's really playing, uh, playing uh, building up our. Well then, I guess you gotta, well, then, I guess you gotta yeah. attack somebody. You, you almost <laughs> did. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I considered it, but is it is it to me? Yes. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna play my tinker for the money, and I'm gonna spend it on this rigor. Seems pretty good. And now that I have the quartermaster, I can have a full crew. So that's that. I will pass it. Um, um, 
I am going to how much is spice worth? Yeah, the spice one. sells for one. Yeah. And my deck hand produces three. And the marauder is four. I am going to hire the Hmm. Okay. Um. So spending a dice to fortify an island is a thing. Is that right? Uh, it is, but you can only do one in this phase. I can save that, and I can use that yeah. in the next phase. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I think I'm. Uh. How do you exploit again? That's an action, isn't it? It's a conquer phase action, and you steam use to steam exploit. to exploit. But the first mate cards and other cards in the deck can't yeah. will let you uh, exploit during the command okay. phase by playing that card. But I'm, I'm going to put this deck hand into play because then when I exploit, I actually get yeah. all of my ports. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's me done. Back to green. Oh, uh, I'm up, sorry. I will... I'm going to spend four spice to revive that rigor that I just got. And I'm just going to immediately trash him. Because that will get me a cannon and a cutlass. It's to me? Yep. Yeah. I am going to pass. Um, as am I. I have no crew cards left, so I pass. Let's see. Let's see. I have one more crew card. I could do something with it, I'm sure. But mm, maybe I just hold on to it because I'll only be able to pull four back. Or, you know what? I'm just going to... Maybe I can grab another another crew while I'm here. Oh, uh, costs three. And it's both Swain does. Steward. Yeah, but then I'd have to revive it. Um, I think I'm gonna hold on to this for now. Okay. Yeah. So I don't have to worry about it. All right, so I'll yell. Yeah, me first. So, question: I I need a room. I don't have any room. How do I get room? Uh, well, uh, well, there's not a lot of good ways to get rum unless you have crew cards right. that will yeah, get it which for I you. Don't have. Um, some. Yeah. So like uh, the the bosun that's up on the in the yep. tavern right now um, at the bottom. Collect room. Yeah. Right. Gotcha. So yeah, there's no easy yeah. way to get it. It's just yeah. Uh, right, let's just have a look at these achievements. Uh, so I could do with exploring an island actually, but there's an island here. But th this can't be explored. Port Artemis. Okay. Wait. Okay. So, Wait. So you need to have a letter of transit letter. in order yeah. to explore. Yeah. Um, so unfortunately, no one has it now because yeah. it's on a neutral port. And the only way to get that letter yeah. is to conquer it. And then if you... Um, I have... If you want, I have the Port Josephine oh, okay. letter of transit. Now, so... What would you like for that? What are you willing to, uh, uh, to well, trade Well, I for have that? the Port Phileas letter of transit. Ooh, I do like that. Ooh, I do like that. I'm going to do a swap. Swaps is. Yeah, sounds there good. We go. Thank you. Uh, right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a steam to go here. Not here. Here. Uh, and I will use that. So I'll give you straight back to explore. Oh, hey, thanks. So this is two cards. And I choose one of them. Uh, 
Okay, or you see there might be room on these. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to return this to the top of the deck. Okay, and I'm going to play this one, which is Powder Keg. So Powder Keg Pearl wants to join my crew. Now Powder Keg, Cur Pur Powder Keg Pearl is... Which one's Powder Keg Pearl? This one right here. This one. This one right here. Right. In the middle. But what I'm going to say is off to the tavern with her. All right. right, and I get a patron reward. Patron reward. And I feel like I know, where, I this like I know where this is going. So I take two patron rewards. Um, I am going to take this one and put it here and put that one on top of the deck. Uh, and then, because I have two patron rewards in my possession at the same time before round four, I complete this. Yeah, yeah. saw that coming. Yeah. <laughs> so I've done that. I get. Yep. Yeah, we'll put put that. Yeah, we'll put yeah. that at the bottom. Oh, so they 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 can keep coming round. Right. How many? Um. So I will take a hundred thousand loyalists for that. There you go. Uh, and then I get another patron reward, and I think that's it. That's it for me for dumb. Uh, let's put. Did you? Um, did you? Um, did I did. I got, uh, got one hundred thousand loyalists. Okay, good. Yep. Okay. There we go. Okay, whose turn is it? Okay, whose turn is it? It's yours. It's my turn. Yeah. It's my turn. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I am going to sail. Sail. I'm in hand, actually. Or Cassius. Yeah, you don't lose those. Yeah, you don't yeah. lose those. You just have um, to have to. Um, and I'm going to one scheme to do that. And I'm going to use uh, letter, of letter of transit. Give that back to you. And take two cards here. And I should have taken them just. Oh, here we go. Um, um, I'm going to lose. I'm going to lose. <laughs> I don't know. I'm so so low on. Yeah, but if you end the round with the least number, you get a cube. <laughs> Okay, I am going to put this one back on top. Yeah, I'm already at the least amount of loyalists. So I'm losing this game terribly. I'm going to do this one. Lose 200,000 more. I'm going to take a mine, some influence, yeah. and a cannon. I'll do your influence. There you go. Influence has been done. And I will immediately drop the mine on... Which board am I at? This one. I'm going to drop the mine on the port. You can't exploit from this port now. Shocking. Sorry, Paul. Oh, wait, that, that's in violation of uh, our agreement. <laughs> that's kind of an attack, yeah. I guess, uh, yeah. <laughs> so you're just going to keep right. the mine and deploy it later? Okay. I'm going to keep it, yeah. I think it's coming towards Shea short. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, well, uh, well, in that case, <laughs> if it's my turn, <laughs> I'm, yeah. going I'm going to spend a steam. Oh. Just, one. Just one. Can you not? Uh, cool. Move over, uh, move over here. And I have acquired, I have acquired a rum, a cutlass, hey. and a cannon. Yep. So I will spend all of those. Actually, I'm not going to spend this token. I'm going to spend the die. Um, I will spend all of those to defeat the three port defenses and claim the last port on this island. Which gives you three influence. Which gives me, yeah, three influence. So if you uh, 
claim on every island. port on an island, you get an extra. Uh, you get extra equal influence to the size of the island. Two, right. three. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, two the amount that you get is yeah. equal to the size of the island. Okay. Yeah. So if you were to claim the second in a two port two. island, you'd okay. get two influence for it. Yeah, it's good. Uh, and I get the two 200,000 loyalists as well. And I get this uh, letter of transit back. Well, I will once I actually claim it. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm just going to spend this cannon to put a black cube on here. There you go. Done. Um, oh, let me put this away. This was... Uh... Did we move my influence? I, I did. Recall. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, good. All right. Um, over here. And I really need some resources. But I am in a place where I can't get... Um, I guess I'm going to have to use my steam to move. You can exploit from anywhere, is that right? Or does your ship have to be there? Yeah. Yeah, no, okay. no you can exploit anywhere. Okay. Just choose to exploit. Um, hmm. I guess that's all I'm going okay. to so do. I spend the steam and I'm going to exploit. And when I exploit, I actually gain all of my resources from each of my ports. So I get one of each. And the rest of us also get a little kickback there. Yeah. I get two sugar. Oh, yeah, that's right. What is... Well, I'll get it later. So that is my go done. And it's to me, yes? Or... Yeah. No, it's to Andrew. Did I jump ahead? I think I might have jumped ahead. Yeah, so oh, it, it's you, Shay, um, and then it's Andrew. I jumped ahead. Yeah. I'll have a bit of cheesecake while I'm waiting to catch up. I... I think I might trade here for a cannon. Um, so I'm on, um, so I'm on uh, Port Artemis. Port Artemis, you can... This was revealed earlier. Uh, so you can trade any three resources for one cannon. Right. So I'm going to trade... Uh, three spice for one cannon. Oh, I've got one over here. So each island has their own special trading things. Trading yeah. ability. Yeah. Yes. And if you're trading at uh, an island uh, that someone else controls or a port that someone else controls, then you give them the resources that you're trading with. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. So that's so that's another reason that you want to uh, yeah. get a lot of ports. So if uh, so you're on Port Josephine. If you wanted to trade, what is that two sugar for three spice? You would have to give You'd me get the, the two, two sugar. sugar. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you traded a port that nobody controls, yeah. it just goes back. Into yeah. The, uh... Actually, the rule was. Actually, the rule was it actually should go on the port, and it it uh, whoever conquers the port gains it. So put it on and you put it on the port there. So. I mean, I've already. Conquered the port. Oh, I just don't. True. Yeah, I haven't claimed it yet. Right. All right. Um, okay. All right. Um, so now it's my turn. Yes. Yes. I'm yeah, I, I jumped true. ahead of. Uh, yeah. So, so, of so we... you went out of order. My turn. And then it'll go back to me, I guess. Back to you. Okay. Um. um well, there is not much I can do here. Um, uh, would anybody like me to fortify their port with rum for uh, steam? I assume not, but Shay, you interested in that? What are you fortifying with? I would fortify your port with rum for a steam. Or a steam. Um, hmm. I don't really want to 
really want to do that. All right. I'm afraid. Because I, I don't have a great means of, of getting steam at the right. moment, so I, I want to hold on to what I have. All right. I will pass. Okay. Uh, I don't suppose anybody has any oak. I do. do they? I do. You have oak? One oak. What would you like for um, that oak? Possibly the letter of transit for Port Josephine. Hmm. That is not a great deal for me, but also I really want the oak, so you know what? Sure. Uh, there you go. And plus you're going to use it and it's going to go right back to me. You're going to get it so. right back. Yeah, so I am going to uh, spend a steam. I'm going to move up to Port Josephine. Let's hang out. Um, and I'm going to uh, pay tribute. There's this card here. I need to pay a cannon, a cutlass, and two oak. I happen to have a cannon, a cutlass, yeah, and two oak. Yeah, about those tributes. Yeah. So I do that, and that gets me nice. 100,000 yeah, miles. I'd miss those. It's all right. I spent a lot, and now I have yeah. basically no resources left. So I think I'm in a good spot. I definitely have the most points, but I also am a little poor at the moment. Mm -hmm. So it goes uh, It is. Well, I'll, I'll explore then. There you go. Have your tunnel back. Let's have a look here. <clears throat> so, don't think I want that one. Oh, these are both rubbish. These are not the cards I wanted. So, I will uh, put that one back on the top. Hey, can you guys yeah, hear me? Hear you. Now my wire is cut out. So for a I'm going to take uh, Sorry, no, Sinful, no. which is this one, and I don't want another patron reward because I've got loads of them. So I'm just going to take that to my crew. Uh, oh yeah, we we draw a new uh, tribute right. card as soon as the one okay. gets claimed, right? Yep. Yeah. So I'm being told in the chat by Plunderous Greg that I can exchange one of each resource for a rum. But I'm not seeing that on the market exchange card. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yeah, I don't remember that. I'm sorry, what was... Uh, sorry, what he was, says that what I can exchange say? one of each resource for a rum. I, 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 <laughs> point, I think my headset's gone. Out, but what um, did he say again? He's saying that you can... Ex uh, Greg is saying that we can exchange one of each no, resource. No, no, uh, no, 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 saying, no, no. He's now saying... No, no, no. He's now saying... No, no, no. That's, not, that's not the case. Um, no. Yeah, so I think that might be it. All right. Yeah. You guys still there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> my my headset's acting. All right. I uh, so it was uh, my turn again. Yes. And I pa I did didn't I I, I, I well, passed. Yeah. passed. So. Uh, yeah. You've passed. I am also going to pass. Yeah, I mean, I have one steam left, but yeah, all I could do, I guess, is exploit a port, which gets me more stuff. But yeah, I should I should have looked at this um, these tributes. So the only tribute that I can fulfil here is this one, which is a cannon, a cutlass, a rum, two steam. Yeah, so I can't do that because I haven't got it. So I pass as well. So, okay. All right, so we're on to the monster phase. Right, so, so we do some more laws. All right, I would. Uh, All right, I would. Uh, I make a motion to adjourn yeah. at this time because I'd like to play a little bit more, more round, and I don't see anything there that I would yeah. care to change. You agree? Yeah, what right about your shift? All right, so we're adjourning. That just yeah. stays where it is. Nothing okay. changes it. All right. So now we continue with the other things. Everybody grabs a patron. This. 
So who chooses first in this? Uh, I'm going to choose first because I was the cleric. And it doesn't matter that much to me. So I think I want to pick, pick the king. So I go first in the conquer phase. I will also take the queen so again. So I take the cleric. Grab one of the dark red ones. OK. Um, OK, we'll change the market card. So what else happens in the muster phase? Reroll dice. Ah, return. Did you claim a port? So claim that port, Shay. Yeah, I'm doing that right now. Um, so I need to get some defenses. So I can recover four crew. If anybody wants to change a patron request. Patron request. Uh, no, that's the one I want to change. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna exchange one of them. I think I will too, since I've been unsuccessful in doing this thing. Okay, I've refreshed my crew. Uh... Oh wait, I get a milestone. Oh wait, I get a milestone, don't I? I have to. Uh, so I got one of the um, before round three cards. I'm going to discard that. Discard and draw one. that. And draw one. Yeah. yeah. So some of the um, some of the patron requests are required to do something before yeah. a specific round. Uh, but uh, since we're after, we just Finish finished. Round three. Yeah. We just finished round three or round two. It's... Yeah. So I, I discard and draw a new one. In fact, you could um, remove that from the game, can't you now? Because right. whenever it gets drawn, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I'm just putting it to the side. Uh, which means that this one's going to go back on the top of the deck. Okay, so I can currently revive four. So much crew. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have a full crew of nine. Uh, I'm going to lose, reduce my influence to revive an additional thing so I can revive five. So we are at 8.30 now. I know you wanted to wrap things up. Um, okay. So, yeah, I. it would be good to see the combat side of it because we've not really seen that. Yeah. So we don't have yeah. to play a full round four, yeah. but if we just play enough to show how the combat works... Right. All right. So we can try and do that. Yeah. That was my intention this time. So why don't we uh, just go a little bit longer here? Hold on. I can revive five. So two, three, Okay, and then has every, everybody rolled a dice? Everybody rolled a dice, yeah. Has nobody rolled a dice? I am rolling. I did one room, okay. and I've I've rolled three of it. <laughs> uh, did we get a new market card? Uh, did we get a new market oh, card? I did. I already, okay. I did. I already flipped it. Okay. I think I did. Yeah, yeah. This, yeah, this looks different. different. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So who's first? Uh, I'm the cleric, so it's me. Yeah. So this is using cards, isn't it? Um, yeah. So just just for a laugh, I'm going to put this new missionary in play. So this is a card that every muster phase will add two influence to it, uh, and then I can I can take the influence right. off that and and lose it effectively. Right. Right, and then you would discard yeah. that card. I believe. Oh, in fact, that should have gone into play immediately when I got it. In which case, I'll have another card in hand. There you go. Right. Um, so I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Instead, um, 
I'm going to, I don't need that. I don't need that. Uh, I don't need that. Uh, I will, okay. I'm going to play this gunner to turn this room into steam. There you go. Done. Okay, I'm up. I am putting my marauder. Put my marauder in uh -oh. play. This doesn't sound pleasant. <laughs> it's going to allow him to uh, raid our ships. Okay. We'll come ports, but we have a, right. we have a okay. ban on that at the moment. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm going to buy some stuff. I'm going to spend my deck hand. That's four copper. Is the turn Gets order me, right? Uh, one no, the turn order's not right, is it? I'm sorry? It should be... No, I don't think anybody no, changed it, right? Hmm. Uh, so I'm going to grab a spice. Uh, so I'm going to grab a spice. four as well. Uh, and I will also grab two steam. And that's me. Okay, so back to me. I am going to play uh, this card to store a rum. Okay, done. Okay. I'm going to play. Well, grab too many cards. I'm going to play uh, my gunner to convert this rum into a cutlass. That's not a cut. I think you just have to keep rolling it, don't you, until it. Or can you? <laughs> yeah, I don't remember which face is. There we go. Oh no, you can. One of the one of the right mouse button clicks. The radial menu is to set it to a particular number. Okay. Yes. Yep. yep. All right. I want to buy some more stuff. Uh, I think I'll get two spice with this uh, quartermaster. Four, yeah, four money, two spice. Uh, and I'm just going to play another gunner to store another rum. Okay, it's my turn again. Okay, it is. It's my turn again. Mm -hmm. I am going to play. Uh, this Marguerite McLeod, Lady in Waiting, which you all, have to, you all have to exhaust one in play, or you can play a card from your hand if, if it's a Majesty Guild, which I don't think you have, to block it, or you have to exhaust a yeah. card from your hand. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, the in play. block crew actions. Oh, that's right. So nope. you couldn't block it anyway. So it's gone. So you have to exhaust one of your yeah. in play crew. Yeah. And I also gain two island resources. So I have these other cards to play, so I get the guild bonus. Yeah, so some of these cards have the synergy like kind of bonus. Um, he's got one of those cards in play already. He gets an extra thing. Okay. I'm going to take... Spice and sugar. Is it me? Yeah. All right. I'm going to do what we call a big play. <laughs> I'm going to put down uh, this guy, which gives me five copper. Um, I also need to trade in a spice for one more copper. That's six. As well as a uh, rum, a cutlass, and a steam, and I get the mechalopod. Okay, so this is a part of the game we've not actually covered yet. <laughs> so you're yeah. right. So I'm right. building a mech, which is one of the things that I can build. Um, specifically, I'm building the biggest mech, uh, yeah. the mechalopod. Now, like a mine, I once I build it, it's on. You know, mm -hmm. I put it in my play area, and I can 
I can put it out. Um, you can deploy it immediately. Yeah. Can, on your port or where your ship is. Right. Or you can hold on to it. So if I put it... Uh, when I put it on a port, um, or when I put it on the map, then I can move it into other players' spaces, and it will automatically attack them. Uh, so I... But it, but I won't. I'm assuming it won't attack uh, Paul if I put it in Port Josephine right now. Andrew. Andrew. I'm sorry. What did you say? This cutting out again. If I, were to, if I were to summon the Mechlopod into Port Josephine, that doesn't count as attacking Paul because I didn't. Move no, you you have to move into right. Yeah. All right. Right. So I'm gonna put it into Port Phileas, uh, as if to say, hey. You don't want to come into my space. Okay. This is my island here. Well, I mean, I'm more than happy for you to attack me with it so that we see how that works. But, <laughs> exactly. but yeah, I mean, yeah. I'm just looking at these here. These are possibly something that I should have considered buying myself because I, I think I can. But that's all right. That's all right. So there are two, yeah. there are two other mechs uh, that you can get, and then yeah. there's mine okay. as well. Uh, so my go, I... Uh, in fact, do I want to do it then? Why not? <laughs> because I've got five coins. Um, I've got a spare cutlass. Um, what else do we need? Five coins, a cutlass, a resource, and a steam. Oh, but then I won't have any steam. Oh, no, I do have steam. I have that one. So there we go. Done it. I have built one of the other two things. So there's uh, the difference between the two, the Mechalodon and the Leviathan, um, is just which uh, enemies okay. they can attack. Now, right. you so are... Uh, you're both airships and I'm a sea ship. So the Leviathan would attack both of you. The Mechalodon would attack all And the Mechalopod, the Kraken, would attack everyone or is able to attack okay. both types of ships. So... Um, so it's basically, which one of us do you think you're going to need uh, to attack? Well, where can this go? On an island? It can go where your ship is or any of your ports. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to put something that can attack Andrew, and I'm going to put it on Port Cassius. So is that this one? Yes. Okay, yes. So that's going to go there. He looks cool. Yeah, these models are really nice, so... Uh, okay, done. So all of a sudden, the mechs have entered the game. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So it's my turn there? Yes. I am going to uh, spend my quartermaster for Steam. And I just dropped all my cards. There we go. So that's more than I needed, but I'm full of Steam. Okay. Okay. It is Jay's turn. Uh, might as well play one of these guys. I. So I'm going to play, so I'm going to play this deck hand, um, and I'm going to do the change up to two tributes, and I may reserve one. So we haven't really reserved mm. tributes yet, but it's a thing you can do during the command phase. Um, but I'm going to take a look at these. Uh, attributes and see. Maybe I don't want some of these on uh, the board. Um, I'm going to change these two out. So I'll put these at the yep. bottom of the deck. Get two more. And, and then you can reserve new one ones. Of them. Exactly. Um, and I think the one I want to reserve is this guy because there's a chance I'll be able to okay. to get this if I if I play my cards right. So you can only reserve yep. one tribute, and it lays uh, face up. Uh, so that everyone knows okay. that you have it reserved. Oh, it, it does get replaced. Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. Oh, might be. Uh, back to me, I think I pass because I've got no crew members left. And I am passing. Um, I'm going to trade in this gunner for, I think, a sugar. 
Oops, just flip that over. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll start my way towards the sugar that I need for that that tribute. So about that, and then I won't have any other uh, people, okay. so I will pass right. as well. So now we go into the conquer phase. And Shay, it's you first, so yeah. am I getting hit by a mech? So I could hit you with a mech. Um, that's easily something I could do. I'd spend a steam and move it into the space. And then that, you know, guarantee, that just does guaranteed damage, right? Uh, Andrew? Sorry, cut out again. I'm not uh, is there any way to defend? Is there any way to defend against a mech? No, there's. You have to preemptively uh, destroy the mech. So since you're going first and you have a mech, you, there's nothing that can be done about it. So yeah. So I could just uh, move this mech into your space, but I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna fire a <laughs> warning shot instead to say to give you a chance to to leave. Uh, my, my area. So I'm actually going to broadside okay. you instead. So this is something we've not seen before. Um, and this was actually on the... banned on round yeah, one, this... wasn't it? Yes, it was. Right. Yes, it was. Uh, but that is long gone. So now, because we are in this, we both have our ships in the same uh, yep. same location, I can spend a cannon okay. uh, to broadside you. Um, so I have a, a cannon die, so I'll spend that. And this can be defended um if you have, uh, let's see, yeah, if you have a, a cannon yourself. Right, but what happens if I right. don't defend? So, you know, warning shot. So are you spending the, the cannon, so are you spending the, the cannon to Well, what happens if I don't defend? defend? If you don't defend, then you're going to take a breach. Um, so uh, you will take one of these breach tokens, it's going to get put onto your... Um, on your cargo, cargo hold. Bottom row. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll, um, you would have I'll, to I'll rearrange your stuff. That's fine. So if you've defended, then uh, no, no damage gets yep. gets placed. Um, like I said, it was a, it was a friendly <laughs> warning shot. Yeah. You know. Um, and okay. that is my turn. Okay. So now it's my turn. I am using one steam to, to, and I have a navigator. So you can run away. Well, so I don't need to move too. I'm just going to move in here. So we're all in the same <laughs> spot now. All right. And I am going to, uh, who has more cargo here? Two rum. I do need rum. All right, I am going to uh, raid your Paul, and you actually can't defend because you don't have any. Well, you so don't have a cutlass. What's raiding then? This you is another type of attack. To defend with. I am raiding with my oh, rotter, okay, right. and as you can see, in a raid, uh, I can use uh, cutlasses or cannons yeah. to damage you, and you can use. Uh, Cannons or cutlass to uh, defend, but you don't have any cannons. And the damage you would take is that for each successful cannon fire, you would gain a breach and lose one steam. And for each successful cutlass that goes through, you will lose one crew member uh, from your exhaustion pile, and I will Which get to take some cargo. But I do have a cutlass. So, do have a cutlass, yeah. So you could defend. But I am uh, first attacking with, uh, well, I'm just going to do it all at once. I'm going to attack with this cannon, and I'm going to, and I am going to, I, uh, you, well, hold on a second. Because I really want to. When you're attacking, well, actually, I, I'm going to stop, I'm going to hold off on that for a second. Because I do, you do have my conk. Uh, yep. thing, and I'm going to lose the influence. So first what I'm going to do is I am going to fire, because you can from an adjacent space, at uh, at uh, Shay's uh, mech to save okay. you from that, and myself since I'm so close. And I am going to use uh, my cannon, and I'm going to use my Stuart as a, on deck Stuart, as a... Uh, Cutlass, because you can use on-deck crew to man additional oh, cutlasses or that. cannons. 
And since I have a cutlass, since I have a cutlass, I'm using the cannon and cutlass to destroy his mech. So, hey, uh, Andrew, yeah. I would yeah. love it if you didn't do this. Um, can I give okay. you maybe uh, all my promissory notes and how about uh, both of my oh. letters of transit? <laughs> well, you wouldn't normally do that in a normal right? I will take your your uh, your conquer. Uh, yeah, you know, you know what? I have very little influence anyway. Yeah, I'll take your. Yeah, I, I'll just take your conquer and and a letter of transit to conquer because that if we were gonna play yeah. longer. I'm and sure here, here's the thing, Andrew, you're so, attacking right. Shay's mech. I could actually well, jump. I'm, I'm, no, you, I'm, you were I'm, going to, but I, yeah. I could actually jump in and kind of interrupt that and get in the way. You could. Yeah. You could. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Um, if you yeah. had, um, if you had uh, right. a cannon, which I don't have anymore. But yeah. You do not. You have a cutlass. So, all right. So, give me that chance. I won't attack you. But I also would like a promise from you that you're not going to help defend Paul when I raid his ship now. <laughs> I have nothing that I could defend it with. Okay. Perfect. So, Paul, I'm going to violate our okay. uh, agreement and lose influence or give you a yeah. cannon, I believe. So, is what do I choose? There. And I am going to. I'm going to raid your ship. Oh, yeah, do I ship. choose what I get from the breach of promise? So I'll take. Ah, uh, yes, you do. Right. Right. Which right. I figured. Right. All right. I am now going to use my cannon and my. What happened to my crew that I had? Oh, here he is. I'm going to exhaust that one for the cutlass. So I am now attacking you. I am raiding your ship with two cutlasses so I use and the a cannon, cannon. And you have to defend. One, one and cannon one and one cutlass. So somebody dies. Right. And so, well, no. So now you decide. I imagine you're going to either see you can block whatever you with those two that you blocked with, and I attack with two yeah. cutlasses and one cannon. So, so, so uh, what you can do is either say you're blocking the two cutlasses, actually end up basically broadsiding you, and you would take breach and lose the last steam you have, or you could. Uh, block one cannon and one cutlass, and you don't take the breach on. And okay, uh, so you don't I lose can the use steam. a cannon to block a cutlass, is what you're saying? Yes. 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 Basically, yes. My, guy, I Basically my guy. I had two guys swing yeah. over and fired a cannon, and your cannon shot one of my guys or both, or or shot okay. one of my guys, and your cutlass took um, out the the other. Okay, I'll I'll take right. the. I'll take the so cannon. So which are you blocking? So we can see how that works. So I get a breach. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. So you would yeah, put it in that bottom row there. Bottom there. Row there. So that's, You're an airship. So that space is yeah. no longer usable. You also lose your steam. Okay. So you lose the only steam you have. So you're kind of yeah. dead in the water there. And uh, that, uh, well, I hold on one second. Got some bad news for you about that. <laughs> can it can it get much worse? Is that I am going to immediately because the battle continues, right? So we resolve that. I am going to immediately revive with my three sugar, my cutlass, and continue the raid with the one cutlass. So yes, I can revive, uh, can and I, I brought my cutlass die these? back. Uh, and so now you have. What? I'm sorry. Can I not use? I'm sorry. So you can only spend the crew as cutlasses or cannons if you already have a cutlass or a cutlass cannon, or cannon right. either on deck or in your cargo hold. So I could have done that last time. Oh, actually, yeah. You know what? Oh, actually, yeah. You know what? So that's true. So let's roll that back because you didn't understand that. Um, how many crew do you have? Oh, in my hand. No. Oh, uh, you've got a lot of crew. Yeah, you've got four, right? No, I, got I don't four have any in your crew hand, in my hand, right? Oh, no, they're not out, oh, playing. No, they're not out playing. They're your your crew that I'm saying on deck that you would be playing. You saved crew, right? You didn't use them all. There's only yeah, they're all out. Or are they all out there? 
Oh, it's okay. In the card because he's got oh, his no. uh, request. Uh, right, that's reward. right. No, I, I thought you said I could. Um, I thought rewards, you said I could right. use the ones that were. Yeah. It's it's hard to see on Tabletopia. Oh no, you can't use in play okay. crew because they're all that's doing fine, other man. other things. Only on deck crew. Okay. That are face down, yep. like so we're good. like I had like they were played. So no. So you are now being raided then because you can't so block the cutlass it. Cutlass gets through. So the one cutlass gets through, and you can see the uh, the damage chart up at the top over here. That for each successful cutlass, you lose one uh, crew yep. from your exhausted pile uh, by choice. So basically, my guys kill one of your guys, and I'm not sure okay. who that would be. Let me see. Um. Those guys in Majesty Guild. I'm gonna, yeah. You're going to kill the I'm priest? Gonna, oh, shocking. I'm going to kill this guy. Absolutely yeah. shocking. <laughs> that's, that seems really awful. He's a latch priest. He's a, he's a, not a real priest. Okay, well, that's all right then. Uh, cleric, <laughs> laugh cleric. Uh, and then I am uh, taking three items from what? your cargo there, I believe. Yeah, rating is, is yeah. pretty aggressive. Okay. And uh, you only have three, so yeah, I'll be taking all three. I didn't quite have but time only, to sneak them into available. the secret hold because I forgot. So, well, yeah. wow. Well, yeah. I mean, that yeah. is part of the game is that you should have moved the stuff over, but and then I would have only gotten the. Yeah, absolutely. Place, but there you go. So okay. you were raided now. Well, I'm glad we've seen yeah. how that works. Uh, it's my go. So I don't think yeah. I do anything now. I haven't got any steam. <laughs> so I haven't got any cannons. Yeah, I tell you what, I was one rum, I think, away from taking this island this turn. I was so close. <laughs> yeah. So close. I, so yeah, I, I think I pass. Yeah. All right. So that seemed like a pretty mean <laughs> thing for Andrew to have done. So I'm going to spend a steam... Uh, to you move know I have your promissory note, though. Oh, oh, you have a promissory note. Yes. I'm gonna lose some influence. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh no, 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 I'm no, no. Do this. I... Oh, you don't have any. Yeah, or do you so want to attack lose... me? I'll well, take you the three influence. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, I think you only want to attack me. Okay, so no, now we're right. seeing how a mech attacks I'll take the other player. Right. So this just so happens as soon as I your, uh, bring it in, and it only your attacks. Story note. Yeah, it only attacks three. one one player. I do lose a bunch of yeah. uh, influence from this. Yes, I just um, took it. And, uh, but then then I attack, and there's no defense against the the mech attacks. They're just too right. dang big. So, so I just have to keep roll. Now you, there's this destiny die here, and, and that's the first you roll for steam, then crew, and okay. then cargo. And you lose whatever okay. is on so, there, right? I'm sorry. So I'll, yeah, off you go. I'm sorry. All right. So all right. So I lost two steam. steam, which I'm one, and I'll use a die. Uh, and then, uh, and then what's the next thing? Crew. One crew. It was crew. One crew. One crew. One crew from your discard all right, pile. So hold on. Random. Hold on. Hold on. Let me flip them. I'm gonna put them all together, and you can I'll choose it, Jay. I uh, will just shuffle it, and the top one will go. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I can't seem to. Well, I, I can't seem to. And then you lose some cargo. Together. And then you you get a breach as well. Wow. All the. Yeah. Well, I got yeah. a roll. Well, I got a roll. But I can't. You know what? But I can't. You know what? I can't seem to stack these things. It, it's. Uh, I, so, yeah, it's fine. Let's yeah. just do it this way and move them around. And it's fine. I'm sure you don't know what's what. Which I don't one. know Go what ahead. this is. Right, I'm saying this one. I hope it's a base crew because you don't lose your base crew. And yeah. it is. Yeah. I survived. I didn't lose anything. None of my guys. All right. And the breach. And I got to roll to see how much yeah, two of my cargo, cargo you get. Okay. okay. I'll roll it. Oh, all the cargo. It's four cargo. I only have yeah. four, so 
all of my all room. cargo. He's taking all of it. And he he also forgot to put it into his uh, secret cargo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I should have put it in my secret cargo. And I just like, yep. Yeah. Forgot about the secret cargo. And on top of all of that, I have this patron request, which is violate hey. the terms of a promissory note. Uh, hey. Nice. One hundred thousand loyalists. Okay. Or a patron reward. Okay. But I'll take the so one. we're at nine o'clock. I think we've just seen quite. I'm, I mean, I'm glad we played the extra yeah. round because we've just seen what is a whole extra part yeah, of the game. And there's all the, the stuff to the, show. In some games, would happen from like round two. Is that fair to say? I'm sorry, I couldn't understand. I'm sorry, I the, couldn't the attacking understand you. of other players. Does that sometimes happen as early as round two? Oh yeah, no, it can happen as early, oh, as, yeah, no, happen okay. as, early as round one. But we played a a very uh, yeah. non-aggressive well, game until round four. And... Right. <laughs> right. Now, the one thing that we didn't really see is attacking somebody else's island. But is that simple as right. you spend cutlasses, right. rum, and cannons, and if you remove them all, you take the island? That is exactly right. Right. That is exactly right. But you can people can defend, and they defend with cannons. Or if it's a but if it's a port to port attack, you can defend. And it's your and your port is on the same island. Yeah, you can defend with cutlasses and cannons. And it's the same thing we just did. With the same uh, rules of engagement. You say what you're attacking with. I say what I'm defending with. I choose what cancels what out, and right. then the attack keeps going. As long as you still have stuff okay. you want to send over, you keep attacking. So it's all deterministic. It's not. Yeah. There's no rolling to. And that, uh, and, and that's one of the things about this game. Because to be yeah. fair, um, as a as a Euro game player myself. You look at this game and you hear about it and you think, oh, it's got pirates and it's got these miniatures. You assume, or I, a lot of people, I think, looking at the game just visually, would assume that the combat would be dice rolling. And it's absolutely right. not at all. Right. <laughs> it's... No. So, yeah. It's all deterministic and you decide what you're defending taking out and it's all yeah. about building up the supplies. And at this point... I mean, we played kind of a, a slow game here, but um, had we, there are other cards that let you get compounded supplies with each muster phase yep. or with each round. And I had a couple of them, but I never got a chance to put them in play because I was going to start doing that now in the fourth round. But we you wanted did. to see combat, so I used that yeah. Stuart, for example, as a yeah. cutlass to and rage your ship. You, so the, the next is, round I put him in play. You six rounds, but Shay's only 400,000 loyalist off a win yes. so that's a potential yes. next round win if a couple of explorations or something else right it's possible, to lose. it's possible to lose points so if, if you guys had taken uh my port um i would lose one hundred thousand loyalists for each oh, okay. port that gets lost um and, and i would give that point so like if when you take a neutral mm -hmm. port you only get 200 points two hundred thousand loyalists but if you take it from someone else, effectively you get 300 right. and they lose 100. Because um, you're taking so one from them. you take from one them. from them and yeah. you get another two? Uh, you, get, you gain two, uh, you you two yeah. 200,000 loyalists right. every time you conquer a port. That just gets added. And then the 100, if somebody controls the port, you take the 100 extra 100,000 yeah. extra loyalists from So that, I think that that's that probably player. what I should have done rather right. than thinking of going here and attacking this was to actually go here. But I had a, um, well, I had two. I had conquer a port so that I control both parts of a, you know, both ports in a, a single island of at least two ports. And I also had this, which was to conquer a port with an armory and tear it down. So the, <laughs> right. this is right. why I was so, building up to try and to try and go for this. Right. So you, so you could have absolutely conquered my port and turned down my port yeah. down my, and it was my only port. So that would have been a problem for me. And I, I was only yeah. defending it with a lot of rum, or or in this case, the, yeah. the rum symbolizes like bribery, like you're bribing yeah. my officials there, and then all you would need yeah. was a. And I, I was kind of place. hoping that Shane so, yeah. would attack me with that mech. Because I, I have this card in hand. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So, Andrew, you, when, yeah, when you said there's no defense against the mech, and I'm sitting here Ooh. going, um, I think there is. 
because I've got it in my hand. So, <laughs> generally, speaking, yeah, generally speaking, yeah, there's no defense against. Yeah, uh, a mech. Yeah, we had a bit of we a did. component pile here. We did. Yeah, obviously, the really physical. Got... Oh, we all ended the up on the same court. Physical game will there. be different than yeah. this. Obviously, playing on Tabletopia does make things a little fiddly when you've yeah. got all of these uh, things on the same place. Yeah, it may... yeah. Um, so there we go. It is there, is there anything in the game that we we didn't see? Uh, uh, mines in the game? Um, oh yeah, I never placed my mine. That, yeah, that's why I went over there to place my mine. Cool. I totally forgot about <laughs> my mine. Since we got into that attacking mode, I was busy attacking. But that I stops dropped a player exploiting there. that and, particular uh, location. Yeah, right. mines, mines and mechs uh, blockade right. a location effectively, um, and they also if you move yeah. into the space of a mine, yeah. then it blows up. And yeah. Right. But damage. other than that, and that's indiscriminate. Like that, that'll happen if you placed the mine yeah. originally. Yeah. But other well. than that, I think we saw pretty much most of the game. Yeah, because broadsiding is just a, is is similar to raiding, but broadsiding you're not actually raiding. Yeah, uh, it's just the ship. cannons versus it's cannons. It's just the damage. It's just yeah. the cannon part. So raiding is actually going yeah. on, and I mean thematically, absolutely right. Broadsiding is just the cannons firing at the ships. The raiding is actually cannons firing, but also crew going on board, fighting at close quarters. Right. So although, right. although yeah. I'm I'm looking at the damage chart now, it might seem oh wow, this is actually quite complicated. When you actually think about it thematically, you're like, oh yeah. I I I, I, yeah. I I can see that that, right. that makes it's sense. It's all pretty simple. Um, yeah. Well, there we go. We did it in about three hours. I say we didn't we didn't play the full game, but I think yeah. we've given people a good impression of what the game's about, how it plays. Um, if you have watched this, if you've been with us all night, obviously thank you very much for watching. Or if you've watched this afterwards, but bearing in mind what both Andrew and Shay said earlier on. We spent the first three rounds of the game kind of turtling a bit and playing slowly. Some games might go like that. If you play groups uh, with, with other players who like to sort of sit back and build up and not attack, then your game will play out like that. But you can attack people from round one in this game. There is nothing to stop you doing it. And I've played, I've played many, many games and every game plays differently. This is the the most turtling up and the most uh, the calmest first half yeah. of the game I've ever but, seen. So, you know, it was a, it's really, I, I was trying to show the engine building. Exactly, it looked exactly. like she was And you also, probably didn't and, want uh, to attack me on bit. turn one when I didn't actually know how to play the game. Right. So, right. I was right. right. Uh, you're right. Exactly. And I was right next exactly. to you. Exactly. Whereas Definitely next time, you'll be in my face from like turn one. <laughs> <laughs> next <laughs> Next exactly, time it's a exactly. free for all. Um, so yeah, anything else either of you two want to add? Yeah, I think you, you pretty I think, much yeah, covered everything. Yeah, I think, everything. Yeah, I cool. think everything so, was covered there. Uh, the, the only thing that maybe the crew cards that start giving you multiple resources over rounds, like you would put the uh, mm. the sinful yeah. smite out there, who would start piling up and giving you uh, giving you influence. I had a, I had cards that would give me, uh, I would put island resources on it, and I would gain mm -hmm. cannons and cutlasses each round from that. And so that, in in round five and six, if we had continued playing, I would have had a tremendous yeah. amount of cutlasses and cannons. And if you had tried to attack me then, uh, I would have immediately fortified or defended back and stopped you. But I would have had, I had the way I... I had set it up was in the fifth and sixth round. I would have be gaining right. many more cutlasses and cannons than you. I'd be able to so probably does, take uh, over your port. It does escalate quite island, nicely then near the end. Yes, but at this point I probably yes, but at this point I probably would have gone for Shay and not you anyway because Shay is, as you pointed out, only four hundred thousand yeah. away from the end. Yeah. So mm -hmm. and and also in the later half of the game when you do island exploration, uh, in the beginning you're usually losing loyalists to gain supplies right. and resources at the end of the game you're giving because i would have a, a, a lot an abundance of supplies i'd be giving them up and gaining loyalists so i would have quickly caught up to him yeah. and tried to bring him down by taking over Excellent. those ports but yeah that's yeah. the only thing we yeah. might not have cool. seen. i mean yeah there's going to be because there's so much going on in this game i think the replayability 
you know, you can play a game and then you can pack it, uh, well, not pack it away, reset it and play it again with the same people. And it, it would be different simply from the actions of the players, be, yeah. which are driven by the patron request that you've got, but also the laws. These laws right. that, that come in and right. fundamentally change the things that you can do and the things that you can't do in the game. Um, right. Yeah, that, that's going to change right. how the game plays out as well, I think. So. Right. And also what changes the gameplay is that board is uh, the tiles can be rearranged yeah. in different ways. So we had a, a cluster of things and, and actually this very much helped Shay from the beginning because neither of us yeah. went over to his side, which allowed him to take over that whole island. Mm -hmm. uh, the smarter move would have been for one yeah. of us to go over and grab one of the ports over yeah. there before he got all three. But in another game, if you created like uh, channels or if you had had longer drawn out uh, islands, if they were in a row, it, it definitely, that just the locations and the way the islands are laid out yeah. completely changes the feel yeah. of the game so and, and how it's being played. This map so that layout does also that we're using here, this is not a fixed layout? No, the, uh, no, the, uh, the two, like each island can be, here, actually we could probably just unlock them and demonstrate so, like in in Tabletopia, you can't. Uh, How you about just reset? The, um, if you reset the game, will it do a random together. setup? But like, oh no, we could just show it this way. So, like these things unlock, right? And so, this yeah. this is one piece. This two port island is just one piece. So, if we set up something like that, already right. that that changes uh, gameplay yeah. considerably. Okay. So, um, that, yeah, I would say that's that pretty much. It's not just the, but it, it's not just the uh, patron request that direct your game. The uh, the the milestones, uh, the milestones if people want to compete for that, as well. uh, the uh, the that tributes, one. yeah, all of these things. And actually, did did you? I'm sorry, I missed. Did you show your uh, patron rewards? What those were? I, that kind of changes. I had the one which steals too. a mech. It's because one of them me, and I also had another one that I wasn't sure how it worked. Right. Change the port resource of up to two ports. Right. So that one, right. Would, like, so that one you would, would like, like you saw that I was yeah. that I had sugar that I was producing, and as you saw, sugar kept letting me revive a yeah. uh, die. You could stop me. Right. From, you could change that so I couldn't keep yeah. getting sugar to revive. Right. Yeah. Cool. Right. Or you know you could change it to what you yeah. wanted. Yeah on your port so yeah. you could produce right that. so yeah right. thank you very much to both of you for your for your time um good luck with the rest of the campaign okay. so at the time of recording this video the game is on kickstarter right now so if you are interested in the game if you've seen if you like what you've seen from this playthrough uh then yeah go and check out the kickstarter campaign and yeah i just say thank you very much to you two for your time um and we're done enjoy the rest of your day because it's not it's not the end of the day over there is it <laughs> no, it is 1 p.m. Yeah. over here in California. I'm exhausted here. <laughs> right, so. yeah, we're all done. So, yeah, I will say goodbye to you, too. Okay. Thanks a lot, Paul. Okay. Right, thank Thanks you. a lot, Paul. So that's that done. And, yeah, thank you very much to everybody. As I say, thank you for watching if you've been with us all night. Uh, we started, what time did we start? Six o'clock, nine o'clock now. I'm going to go and finish my cheesecake, I think. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters for helping support the channel. Um, and, yeah, take care. And I'll see you next time.